Chapter 101. Killing the Legendary Powerhouse in One Shot? Devil Appears. I have to say. This wave of baby boomers has a very high quality. Especially Leafa. Perhaps due to the recovery of her physical potential, this pregnancy has directly given Ren a big surprise. She actually gave birth to a golden level heir. Two silver level heirs, one golden level heir. Naturally, the rewards given by the system are quite generous. The cultivation of Do Qi will reach 160 years. In addition, there is proficiency in intermediate magic arrays, proficiency in advanced magic arrays, and the second order magic lock, Wrath of the Elements. There is also magical technology, the blueprint for the magic crystal cannon. There is no need to say much about the proficiency in intermediate and advanced magic arrays. It is the advanced version of the basic magic array that was obtained before. After obtaining it, more advanced magic arrays can be arranged. As for the second order magic lock, Wrath of the Elements, it is powerful. Once activated, it will automatically extract all elemental energy within a radius of 10 kilometers, creating a large number of 067 to create elemental creatures above the 10th rank and elemental giants above the 13th rank. These powerful and fearless elemental creatures will form an elemental army to attack any invading enemies. No strong person who has not stepped into the legendary realm can break through. It is almost as difficult as reaching the sky to break this magic lock. Its power completely surpasses the first order magic lock, war mist that Ren obtained decades ago. As for the magical technology, the blueprint for the magic crystal cannon that the golden level air produced. Ren took a look at it. He found that this thing is completely an energy cannon version of the magic world. By extracting the magic power from the magic crystal, compressing and aggregating it into a destructive magic torrent, it can destroy all enemies. The highest level of magic crystal cannon, as long as there are enough magic crystals loaded. In theory, it can even kill legendary powerhouses with one shot. Its power is extremely explosive. Of course. The reason why it is only a theory is because it is difficult to achieve. Legendary powerhouses are not stationary targets. Instead, they are skilled in various survival and displacement techniques. On the other hand, the power of the magic crystal cannon is sufficient, but its attack trajectory is extremely limited. Unless that legendary powerhouse is a fool who stands still and takes a direct hit from the cannon. Otherwise, it is merely a beautiful delusion to think that one can kill a legendary powerhouse with a single shot from the magic crystal cannon. However, there is no denying the value of the magic crystal cannon as a super destructive weapon. Whether used for city defense or legion warfare, it can play a decisive role in determining the outcome of a battle. Most importantly, this thing can be mass produced. If hundreds of magic crystal cannons can be manufactured, a barrage of artillery fire would make even a legendary powerhouse flee in embarrassment. These are all great things. This wave of system rewards is really powerful. Without hesitation, Ren excitedly chooses to receive all the rewards. In the next moment, 160 years of Do Qi cultivation rapidly merged into his body. After the fusion was complete, the total amount of Do Qi in Ren body significantly increased. He was now closer to breaking through to the 15th rank. It is estimated that it would take another 300 years or so of Do Qi cultivation to achieve the breakthrough. And then, Countless profound knowledge about magic arrays merged into his mind and quickly interconnected. It was as if he had studied it countless times himself. When the cultivation and knowledge rewards were fully integrated, a strange magic sphere emitting dazzling magical light and a stack of blueprints suddenly appeared in front of Ren. Obviously, these were the blueprints for the Fury of the Elements magic lock and the magic crystal cannon. Ren already had ideas on how to use these two things. It was time to replace the magic locks that guarded the Hab's Garden and the Eagle City. There was no reason not to, with the more advanced and powerful fury of the elements. Still using the second level war fog, with the protection of the second level magic lock, the defensive capability of Eagle City can be increased by at least 10 times. As for the magic crystal cannon, he is preparing to set up a dedicated military factory. Mass production. He wants to equip all the towns in the Habsburg territory with a large number of magic crystal cannons to destroy any enemy that comes. If he wants to do it, he will do it. Ren immediately took action. He retracted the original War Fog magic lock. Then, he placed the core array plate of the Elemental Fury at the installation point, and activated and recognized the master by inputting energy. Ten minutes later, an invisible and secretive magical fluctuation instantly enveloped the entire Eagle City. The magic lock, Elemental Fury, has been successfully deployed. As for the replaced War Fog magic lock, Ren has no intention of retiring it either. He directly sent someone to send it to Iron Furnace City. Among the seven towns under his rule, Iron Furnace City is the farthest from his Eagle Town. 
Once a critical event occurs, it is difficult to transmit the request for assistance in a timely manner. It is in the greatest need of the protection of the magic lock. The other five towns are relatively closer. Even if something happens, he can provide timely support. The demand for magic locks is not that high. It is not too late to send them over when there are extras in the future. After dealing with the matter of the magic lock, Ren gathered all the skilled military craftsmen in the territory and began to study the manufacturing diagram of the magic crystal cannon. Preparing for the production of magic crystal cannons. This thing is a high-end magical technology, and the technical content is still very high. Even though Ren is proficient in advanced magic array studies, it will take some time for him to completely understand its manufacturing principles. In such a busy state, another half a month has passed. During this time, Katie, Florina, and Lelicia, who were in the late stages of pregnancy, have all given birth. They have given birth to offspring for Ren, two girls and one boy. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the 84th child of the host. The magical aptitude of this offspring is high, the fighting spirit aptitude is high, and the evaluation is silver level. Reward, 30 years of fighting spirit cultivation, 5 years of magical cultivation. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the 85th child of the host. The magical aptitude of this offspring is high, the fighting spirit aptitude is high, and the evaluation is silver level. Reward, 30 years of fighting spirit cultivation, talent, danger perception. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the 86th child of the host. The magical aptitude of this offspring is high, the fighting spirit aptitude is medium, and the evaluation is silver level. Reward, 30 years of fighting spirit cultivation, talent, sun sword art genius. Close black lens bracket. Three silver level offspring. Ren is somewhat disappointed. Katie, Florina, and Lelicia all have special bloodlines and their own aptitudes are quite excellent. Originally, he thought that in this wave of baby boom, there would be at least one golden level offspring. Who would have thought that there wouldn't be a single one? My luck hasn't been good lately, Ren sighed helplessly. He quickly adjusted his mindset. That's just how reality is. If you don't accept it, what else can you do? Receive the rewards. There hasn't been much progress in cultivation. No breakthrough, just a slight increase in overall strength. But those two passive talents are quite useful. One enhances the perception of danger. One increases the training speed and power of sword techniques. Both are quite useful. After fusion, Ren combat power has greatly increased. In the blink of an eye, half a year has passed. There have been sightings of abyssal demons within the Kingdom of Lance. And there are quite a few of them. Chapter 102 The disaster is approaching, the first magic crystal cannon is released. At noon today, hundreds of demons suddenly appeared in the River Bay area. They were burning and killing everywhere. Several villages were in distress, completely slaughtered by the demons. Fortunately, these demons are relatively low-level demon races. Their strength is average. After paying a certain price, the nobles in the River Bay area successfully exterminated them. However, although these demons are dead, the impact they brought has not disappeared. The perceptive nobles have already sensed that something is wrong. Under normal circumstances, it is impossible for the Roland continent to have such a large group of demons. Unless there are demon worshippers opening demon portals, or there are dimensional rifts leading to the abyssal plane. Regardless of which one, it means that more demons could come out of the bottomless abyss at any time. That's why. The atmosphere in the River Bay area is quite tense. And in the neighboring Rhine region, it is naturally impossible to remain unaffected. Many intelligent nobles have already started hoarding food, buying weapons, and expanding their families' armed forces. Hab's Manor. Study. It seems that the demonic disaster is most likely true. Looking at the intelligence collected and summarized by the Shadow Organization, Ren also felt a strong sense of urgency. If a demonic disaster really occurs, the demons appearing in the River Bay area will definitely increase. By then, the Rhine region will probably not be spared. A catastrophe is about to come. We must speed up and make thorough preparations. Ren thought to himself, to stop the demonic disaster. He doesn't have the ability to do so, but he must ensure that his wife, children, and territory are safe. To achieve this, he must continue to greatly strengthen the defensive forces of the territory. However, it is definitely unrealistic to achieve this goal by significantly increasing the armed forces of the family. After all, the cultivation of extraordinary individuals takes years. As for mortal armies, they are useless in the face of the demon disaster. They are simply sending themselves to their deaths. It seems that the only way to enhance the defensive strength of the territory is through other means. After pondering for a moment, Ren quickly came up with an idea. 
First, he needs to quickly grasp the manufacturing process of the magic crystal cannon and produce a large number of them as city defense weapons. Second, he will use his recently acquired expertise in advanced magic arrays to set up defensive magic arrays in major towns. Third, he will continue to thicken and raise the walls of various cities. The acquisition of strategic supplies such as food cannot be stopped. Each town needs to establish strategic reserves to prevent being besieged by the demon army and running out of ammunition and food. Ren wrote down these plans on parchment one by one. The procurement of food and the strengthening of city walls do not require his personal attention and can be delegated to his subordinates. However, the production of magic crystal cannons and the arrangement of defensive magic arrays must be personally handled by him. After all, he is the only one in the Habsburg family who understands advanced magic arrays. After finalizing the work plan, Ren entrusted the affairs to Janus. He began to seclude himself and tackle the difficult task of manufacturing the magic crystal cannons. One month later, with Ren and numerous military craftsmen working tirelessly, the first magic crystal cannon was finally successfully manufactured. After a simple test, the data of this magic crystal cannon came out. Its maximum range is about 15 kilometers, as for the power. It is limited by the problem of insufficient material strength. Even if enough magic crystals are filled, it can only produce an attack power equivalent to a five-ring magic, equivalent to a full force strike from a 13th level mage. Any higher and it would explode, as for consumption. Taking the maximum output power as an example, each shot requires filling with magic crystals worth tens of thousands. It's like a gold-devouring beast. With the current Habs family's reserves of magic crystals, I'm afraid they will be depleted after a few hundred shots. Ren directly added magic crystals to the procurement list. To increase the ammunition reserves, at the same time, a large quantity of materials for manufacturing magic crystal cannons were purchased. Mass production of magic crystal cannons began. The manufacturing cost of one magic crystal cannon is around 500,000 gold coins. Although it is somewhat expensive, the Habs family's financial resources can still afford it. He plans to start with a hundred cannons and turn all the cities in his territory into fortresses. Just as Wren was busy, Baron Blake's family head, Bennett, suddenly came to visit. Bennett is the brother of his wife, Katie, and Charlotte. Therefore, Wren couldn't refuse to see him, there was no other way. He had to temporarily put down what he was doing and walk towards the reception room. As soon as he entered, Wren saw Bennett sitting in a chair waiting. It has been several decades since Wren rescued the Blake family and killed the projection of the evil god. Time waits for no one, so many years have passed. Bennett has already transformed from a handsome young man into a middle-aged man with a big belly. I have seen Duke Wren. Seeing Wren enter, Bennett quickly stood up to greet him. Lord Bennett, do you have any business coming here today? After a brief exchange of pleasantries, Wren went straight to the point. A calamity is approaching. There are many things he needs to do. But there is no time to waste on idle talk. I came here this time to ask you to sell a batch of high-quality weapons and city defense equipment to us. Not long ago, the great emperor demon appeared in the Bay Area, and I believe you are aware of it. Upon hearing this, Bennett directly explained his request. Nowadays, due to the appearance of demons, the situation is tense, and the nobles in the Rhine region are all garrisoning troops. The market has long been swept clean of high-quality weapons and 163 city defense equipment. The Black family simply cannot purchase enough weapons to protect themselves, like the Strong family's armed forces. Therefore, he hopes that Ren can sell a batch of high-quality weapons and city defense equipment to the Black family, considering their alliance relationship. Okay. After pondering for a moment, Ren agreed to it. Due to early preparations and hoarding, the Habu's family had an abundance of high-quality weapons. In addition, with the mass production of the magic crystal cannons, some of the city defense armaments were no longer needed. Selling a batch to the Blake family would not have much impact. Thank you very much, Duke Ren. Upon hearing Ren prompt agreement, Joy on Toentra's face was filled with excitement and gratitude. He once again celebrated his wise decision decades ago. Fortunately, he had foresight and married his two sisters to Ren. Establishing a solid alliance. Otherwise, how could the Blake family now receive the weapon support from the Habu's family? After a discussion, Ren sold 50 wind chaser crossbows, 500 fine steel greatswords, and 5 bursting city crossbows to Bennett at a discounted price of 3 million gold coins. With a satisfied smile, Bennett left the Habu's manor. After seeing off Bennett, Ren once again devoted his energy to the mass production plan of the magic crystal cannons. Chapter 103 The town defense system is completed and the Duke family is destroyed. In the blink of an eye, another three months have passed. Because we couldn't find the passage through which demons entered the Roland continent. 
The number of demons appearing in the River Bay area has been increasing. From time to time, news of villages being breached and massacred by demons can be heard. In fact, it's not just the River Bay area. Signs of large-scale demon activity have also appeared in other regions of the Kingdom of Lance. The Rhine region is no exception. Just a few days ago, a demon army of several thousand ravaged the Rhine region. This demon army is quite powerful, led by a 12th level berserker demon. Under its command are hundreds of Kavasi demons and flow demons, equivalent to advanced transcendence. There are also thousands of fallen demons and timid demons, equivalent to mid to low level transcendence. Most of the armed forces in the hands of the Rhine nobles cannot match this strength. Therefore, at first, this demon army was like entering an uninhabited land. Burning, killing, and looting all the way. Destroying dozens of villages and several towns with populations exceeding 100,000. When passing through the territory of the Habus family in the Harvest City. This demon army also wanted to have a bloodbath. However, the Habus family is obviously not an easy target. Upon receiving news of the demon invasion, Ren immediately went to support the Harvest City. After arriving, with just three moves, Ren wiped out the entire demon army. Unfortunately, during the time he rushed over, most of the crops in the farmland outside Harvest City were destroyed by these demons. The losses were not small. With the territory under attack by a large group of demons, Ren felt an even greater sense of urgency. While increasing the production of magic crystal cannons, he also began to set up protective magic arrays for other towns. Eagle City and Iron Furnace City have magic enchantments guarding them. Ren only needs to set up magic arrays for the five cities of Blue Moon City, Harvest City, Saltwell City, Flower City, and Red Cedar City. However, even so, Ren work is still very long. After all, as the guardian magic array of the town, its size certainly cannot be small. Without the help of other magicians, to set up such a large magic array, Ren would need at least half a month. Therefore, during this period of time, Ren was extremely busy. Of course, no matter how busy he was, Ren would not forget about having children. With Ren efforts, Katie, Lifa, Frenna, Betty, and Lashinu will not be left behind again. If nothing unexpected happens, ten months later, he will be able to receive at least five system rewards again. By then, his strength will definitely be greatly improved. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, three months have passed. The number of demons appearing in the Kingdom of Lance is increasing. And their quality is also rapidly improving. Advanced demons above the 10th rank are no longer rare. In this situation, the situation in the Kingdom of Lance has become more severe. If it weren't for the three transcendent knight orders of the Kingdom of Lance attacking and suppressing these demons everywhere, I'm afraid the order of the Kingdom of Lance would completely collapse and lose control. However, from the current situation, the order maintained by the three transcendent knight orders of the Kingdom of Lance probably won't last much longer. As time goes by, the number and quality of demons continue to increase. Just when the outside world is undergoing great changes, Ren is not idle either. In addition to eliminating the demons invading the territory, he spends every day setting up protective magic arrays. Until now, he has finally successfully completed the magic arrays of all five cities. Due to the urgency of time, the functions of the protective formations set up by Ren are all very simple. They include shield defense, flight prohibition, and wall reinforcement. Everything is aimed at preventing demons from crossing the city walls. As for the offensive aspect, having magic crystal cannons and city defense artillery is enough. In the past six months, Ren and the Arsenal craftsmen worked together to manufacture 58 magic crystal cannons. They were distributed to seven cities, each city has at least eight cannons. Combined with the completed taller and thicker city walls. As long as there are no large numbers of high-level demons attacking. Low-level demons will be killed as they come, it is simply impossible to break through these cities. If a large number of high-level demons invade, these towns can also withstand for a period of time until Ren reinforcements arrive. After the defensive system of the territory was initially set up, Ren finally breathed a sigh of relief, however, before he could be happy for too long, Ren received shocking news. The high mountain city where the Eglin Duke's family is located has been captured by the demon army. Millions of people have been devoured by demons. Only less than a hundred thousand people managed to escape from the Eglin Duke's territory. Upon receiving this news, Ren was stunned, you should know. The Eglin family is one of the only seven ducal families in the Kingdom of Lance. It has been passed down for over 600 years. The family's strength is extremely strong. Not only do they have a Sky Knight guarding them, they also have over 10 extraordinary individuals at the Earth Knight level. Who could have imagined? 
that such a powerful Eglin Duke's family would suddenly fall like this. After coming back to his senses, Ren carefully examined the intelligence sent back by the Shadow Organization through the Gale Wind Falcon. Soon, he understood the general course of events. Originally, there were hundreds of demon worshippers lurking in the mountain city. These demon worshippers sacrificed themselves and opened a temporary portal to the abyssal plain above the mountain city. The demon lord on the other side of the portal had long been preparing. Although its true form was too powerful to descend onto the Roland continent through this portal, it reached out through this temporary portal and with a single strike, leveled the lord's mansion in the mountain city. Most of the Igran family's high-level combatants perished. The command system was paralyzed, in this situation. Without even lasting ten minutes, the mountain city was breached by an army of over a hundred thousand demons. The kingdom of Lance is going to be in chaos. Setting down the parchment recording the intelligence, Ren took a deep breath, his eyes filled with seriousness. The fall of the Igran family's territory would have far-reaching consequences. Not to mention anything else, the flesh and souls of the millions of people on the Igran family's fiefdom would definitely be used by the demon army. Used to create even larger demon portals, allowing more and more powerful demons to come to the Roland continent. By then, the fragile order barely maintained by the Kingdom of Lance would definitely be completely shattered. At that time, countless terrifying demons would rampage across this land. Imagine that scene. Ren also felt a chill in his heart. However, this magical disaster sweeping across the Roland continent has too wide a coverage. Obviously, it is not something that he, a transcendent who hasn't even stepped into the legendary realm, can solve or stop. In this catastrophe, being able to protect his family in his own territory is already good enough. Regaining his thoughts, no longer thinking about these trivial matters. In order to prevent the tragedy of the Igran family from recurring in the Habs family, Ren immediately ordered the Shadow Organization to secretly investigate the people in several towns within the territory. Once someone is found to be behaving suspiciously, they will be immediately executed on the spot. Chapter 104 The Duke Comes, Inheritance Level Magic Armor. One week later, a group of knights, who appeared to be extremely elite, arrived at Eagle City. Halt. Eagle City is under full martial law. Outsiders are prohibited from entering the city. Seeing these unfamiliar knights approaching, the city guards responsible for guarding the city gate immediately shouted loudly. At the same time, the guards operating the magic crystal cannons on the city wall turned the barrels towards these cavalrymen. They began to charge up. Once they detected any intention of the other party to continue advancing, they would immediately open fire and annihilate them. This was Ren order. Now that the magical disaster was getting worse and the situation was becoming more severe. In order to prevent people with ulterior motives from infiltrating the city and causing chaos. And to prevent demon worshippers from capturing the city. Now, Habs has implemented martial law in all major cities under his control. The inspections for entering and leaving the cities are very strict. Except for the local residents of Habs territory. Others are no longer allowed to enter and leave the cities of the Habs family at will. Feeling the strong threat emanating from the cylindrical object on the city wall. The group of knights immediately stopped their footsteps. They dared not approach rashly anymore. Then, a middle-aged man wearing a mage robe, exuding the aura of a superior, stepped forward and spoke to the city gate guards. I am Loretta, the head of the Duke Solord family. I have urgent matters to see Duke Ren. Upon hearing this, the city guards still showed no intention of letting them through. After all, who knows if what this person in front of them is saying is true or false. They asked the Solorg family members to wait. Several city guards immediately sent one person to the Habs Manor to report this matter. Habs Manor. Ren was having afternoon tea with his wives in the courtyard. After a while, the butler hurriedly walked in. Lord Ren, Duke Laorita of the Solorg family suddenly came to visit and said he wants to see you. Upon hearing this, Ren was somewhat surprised. He couldn't remember having a deep relationship with Duke Laorita. At most, they had a chance encounter at a previous royal banquet. Why would Duke Laorita suddenly come to visit him? He wondered. In the end, Ren decided to meet with Duke Laorita. After all, the situation outside was so bad, and Duke Laorita had come from afar to visit him, so maybe there was something important to discuss. Verify the identity of Duke Laorita. If there are no issues, bring him in, Ren said. Yes. The butler nodded. Immediately, he walked out. Ten minutes later, a dignified middle-aged man with purple hair was brought before Ren by the butler. This was the current Duke Laorita of the Solorg family. This duke was quite famous within the kingdom of Lance. Not only was he a twelfth-level grand mage, but he was also a very skilled master of magical weapon crafting. 
he had once created a legacy level staff called the Eternal Frost, which shook the Kingdom of Lance. Duke Ren, long time no see. As soon as he entered, Duke Leorita immediately greeted Ren with a smile. With such enthusiasm from the other party, Ren naturally wouldn't be impolite and responded immediately. After a brief chat and exchange of pleasantries, Duke Leorita, do you have any important matters for visiting today? Ren didn't want to beat around the bush anymore and directly asked. Upon hearing this, Duke Leorita's expression immediately became serious. Duke Ren, I have come for a marriage alliance. L, my eighth daughter, Cecilia, has reached the age to marry. I would like to find a good husband for her. Duke Ren, are you interested in marrying my daughter? After speaking, Lord Lareda also mentioned Cecilia's personal qualities. She possesses exceptional magical talent, a sweet appearance, and is a fifth-level mage. She perfectly meets Duke Ren requirements for a wife. Clearly, she has been carefully selected as a marriage candidate for Duke Ren. Marry me? Upon hearing this, a hint of surprise flashed in Duke Ren's eyes. With the current chaos outside, everyone is busy strengthening their armed forces to defend against the demon army's attacks. Yet, the Solorg family has come to seek a marriage alliance with him? This is obviously abnormal. Most likely, they have some ulterior motive. He did not rush to make a decision. He planned to first listen to what Lord Lareda wants. Could it be that he wants to obtain his military assistance through this marriage alliance? If that's the case, he definitely cannot agree. The external situation is so critical right now. He also has his own wife, children, and family to protect. Unless necessary, he will not leave the Habsburg family's territory. As expected. Lord Lareda's next words confirmed his speculation. Not long ago, the destruction of the Duke of Iglen's family sounded the alarm for the Solorg family. Indeed. Lord Lareda has come from afar to seek a marriage alliance with Duke Ren of the Habsburg family. Hoping to obtain the military assistance of Duke Ren, who is capable of slaying the projection of a demon lord. To ensure the stability of their family. With the current chaotic situation outside, I have no intention of taking a wife. Let's discuss this matter later. After listening to Lord Lareda's words, Duke Ren shook his head and politely refused. If Duke Ren is willing to marry my daughter and help my Solorg family through this difficult time. I am willing to offer a legacy-level magical armor as my daughter's dowry. Upon hearing Duke Ren direct refusal, Lord Lareda did not give up. Once again, a higher price was offered. He didn't believe that Ren could remain unmoved by this. You should know. Inheritance-level magical weapons are not something easily obtained. Even in the entire Kingdom of Lance, there are only a few. The newly rising Habs family doesn't even have one. The Storm Greatsword in Ren hands is only a fine-level magical weapon. This shows the preciousness of inheritance-level magical weapons. Even if Loretta himself is a master weapon maker, it is still extremely difficult to create an inheritance-level magical weapon. Not only does it require a large amount of precious materials, the success rate is also not more than 30%. It must be said, in order to obtain Ren military assistance, Duke Loretta has spared no expense. Upon hearing this, Ren couldn't help but be tempted. However, after thinking for a moment, in the end, he firmly chose to refuse once again. Because he couldn't abandon his duty to protect his wife and children for the sake of an inheritance-level magical armor. If something were to happen to his wife and children because of this, he would regret it for the rest of his life. Furthermore, as a man with a golden finger, he believes that he will never lack weapons of this level in the future. If he refuses, then he refuses, there's nothing to regret. Duke Ren, don't you want to think about it anymore? Seeing Ren decisively and resolutely reject the offer he made, Duke Loretta couldn't help but be astonished. No need to think. I cannot agree to this. After saying that, Ren immediately prepared to see his guest off. But Duke Loretta was unwilling to leave like this. Since he couldn't obtain Ren military assistance. Then he would seek an alternative. Before coming here, he had prepared more than one plan. Chapter 105. Twin Golden Heirs, Epic Talents Ren was about to leave as a guest. Lareda spoke again, Duke Ren. The conditions remain the same as before. I wonder if you can allow some descendants of the Solok family to temporarily reside in the Habs family? Don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Hearing this, Ren also understood Lareda's intention with this request. Unable to obtain his military assistance. Then, send some descendants of the family to the territory of the Habs family in order to obtain his protection. In this way, even if the Solok family suffers the same catastrophic disaster as the Eaglin family, they can still continue their lineage, and if the Solok family safely passes through this magical disaster, at that time, they can bring these descendants back. It has to be said, 
This is indeed a very clever survival strategy for the family. After thinking for a moment, Ren agreed as well. After all, this does not prevent him from protecting his wife, children, and territory. He can also obtain a beautiful wife with good qualifications and an heirloom level magical armor. Why not do it? After reaching a consensus, the two began to discuss the details of this matter. About 20 minutes later, the final terms of the contract came out. The Solok family offered to marry their daughter and provide an heirloom level magical armor as a condition in exchange for Ren full protection of some descendants of the Solok family. At the same time, if the Solok family is destroyed, after the magical disaster ends, the descendants of this family on the Habs territory will rebuild the Solok family, and Ren will also need to provide certain assistance. After signing the magical contract, Lareda did not stay long at the Habs estate. He immediately left with his knights and guards, he must return as soon as possible to select outstanding descendants as the family's successors, in order to prevent any unexpected situations from arising if time drags on. Five days later, Loretta personally brought her daughter, Cecilia, and the heirloom-grade magical armor as dowry to the Habsburg Manor. Accompanying them were more than twenty young people dressed in elegant attire. It is quite obvious, these are the descendants of the Salog family that Ren needs to protect. All the members of the Salog family have been arranged. Next, it's time to hold the wedding. This wedding, which involves the marriage alliance of two ducal families, should have been grand and lively. However, due to the chaotic and evil external situation, everyone is too busy to attend any banquet, therefore, everything has to be kept simple. The wedding was hastily completed. Cecilia became the 19th Lady of Wren. Wren is quite satisfied with this new wife. She has a sweet appearance and a petite and delicate figure. She gives people a feeling of being dependent like a little bird. That night, the two slept together, the next day. The sun rose. He gently moved away the tender and delicate body leaning against him. After a simple wash-up, Ren went to the family treasury to inspect the heirloom-grade magical armor sent by the Salog family yesterday. Enter the inner area of the underground treasure vault of the Habu's Manor. A set of silver armor enveloped in substantial magical radiance appeared before Ren's eyes. Infused chi into it. The next second. The silver armor automatically disassembled and dressed itself on Ren. Then, Ren automatically obtained the specific information of this armor. Silver frost armor, inheritance level, durability, 180, 112 times that of normal ironware. Passive effects. Auto dressing, automatically equips armor after infusing chi, impact defense, significantly reduces the impact force when subjected to physical attacks, frost freeze, has a chance to slow down the enemy when being attacked at close range, auto repair can automatically absorb elemental energy from the air to repair itself. Triggerable magic. Eternal frost shield, fifth level magic, summons ten freely controllable ice shields to protect oneself. Frost nova, fifth level magic, condenses extreme cold air to freeze enemies within a one kilometer diameter around oneself. I have to say, the attributes of this inherited armor are quite good. Both the passive effects and the usable magic are quite practical. Wearing this silver frost armor, coupled with his own superhuman physique, Ren even has the confidence to withstand attacks from extraordinary individuals below the legendary level without injury. Satisfied, he nodded. Wearing this armor, Ren walked out of the family treasure vault. Flowers are requested. In the blink of an eye. Three months have passed. Under Ren diligent cultivation. Cecilia also began to show signs of pregnancy, besides this matter. There is another happy event. That is Anna, Murphy, Layla, Jessica, and others are also expecting. Estimating the time of pregnancy, it is expected to give birth in the next few weeks. Three days later, the first to conceive, Murphy and Layla, gave birth to offspring in Ren one after another. These are the 87th and 88th children of Ren, however. These two offspring have very average aptitude, no magical talent, and their martial energy talent is only average, evaluated as bronze level. The system reward is only 10 years of martial energy cultivation as basic welfare. Point zero this disappointed Ren, who wanted to have a strong start. One week later, Anna also gave birth. The first pregnancy resulted in a pair of twin brothers. Detected the birth of the 89th child of the host. The magical aptitude of this offspring is extraordinary. The martial energy aptitude is high, evaluated as gold level. Reward. 100 years of martial energy cultivation, 20 years of magical cultivation, epic level talent, dual body. Detected the birth of the 90th child of the host. The magical aptitude of this offspring is extraordinary. The martial energy aptitude is high, evaluated as gold level. Reward. 100 years of martial energy cultivation, 20 years of magical cultivation, epic level talent, companion angel. FK. 
Ren couldn't help but curse, it has to be said. Anna has truly given him a big surprise. This pair of twins actually have extraordinary magical talent. Two gold level offspring in one pregnancy. This is simply a miracle. He has never encountered this situation before. What a pity. If luck could be a little better, maybe Lifa and I could directly give birth to a pair of platinum level offspring. Suppressing the excitement in his heart, Ren greedily thought. So far. The highest evaluated child he has given birth to is only gold level. If he were to give birth to a pair of platinum level offspring, the value of the rewards he could obtain would definitely increase by more than 10 times. Maybe it could even allow him to soar directly and break through into the legendary realm. Chapter 106 Angel Pregnancy Plan? King of Lance calls for help. Of course. After calming down, Ren also knew that he was fantasizing. After all, Anna's magical aptitude has not completely reached the epic level. Even if luck is overflowing, to be able to produce a platinum level offspring with epic magical aptitude, he would have to be extremely lucky. Wanting two in a row? What kind of luck does this require? It's probably necessary to exhaust all the luck of the next life to achieve it. Receive the reward. Stop thinking about these things, Ren silently said in his heart. The next second. An extremely powerful fighting energy began to appear out of thin air in his dantian. The holy dragon fighting chi technique automatically activated, continuously transforming and integrating these pure crystal fighting energy into his fighting energy source. After absorbing all the fighting energy cultivation of the past 200 years, Ren's aura suddenly surged, his cultivation realm successfully reached the 15th stage. Just one step away from stepping into the legendary realm. After absorbing the 950 fighting energy cultivation. Next is the magic cultivation. A large amount of pure magic power merged into his consciousness. Under the influence of this magic power, his magic realm directly jumped twice and reached the 12th stage. Just one step away from breaking through to become a mage. Although it is not a promotion to a higher realm. But this wave of cultivation improvement still doubled Ren's strength. Adapting to his skyrocketing power. Then, Ren began to check the talents awarded by the two system rewards. Unlike before. This time, the talents awarded by the system are marked with the word, Epic. Obviously, they are much stronger than the ordinary talents such as, Unhindered Fury, and, Tough Spirit, given before. Therefore, he is also extremely looking forward to the abilities of these two Epic talents. The abilities have merged into his body along with his cultivation. Just a simple recollection. Ren quickly obtained the information about the innate abilities granted by the system. Epic Talent. Dual Body Fusion Effect. With this talent, you can summon a clone with the same attributes and skills as yourself. The clone does not have self-awareness, and the main body has absolute control over it. As long as it is not killed, it can exist permanently. Epic Talent. Companion Angel Effect. With this talent, you will have a companion angel as your life and death partner. The strength of the companion angel will increase as your own strength increases, with a maximum limit of second rank. I have to say, these two talents truly deserve the title of epic. Their abilities completely surpass the talents Ren obtained before. Dual body fusion is like an enhanced version of true mirror magic, capable of summoning a powerful clone that permanently exists with equal strength. This is equivalent to doubling his combat power out of thin air. If Ren controls this clone to attack together with himself, it can even produce an effect where 1 plus 1 greater than 3. And the companion angel. Equally incredible. Directly obtaining an angel companion of the same rank as oneself. You should know. Every angel is a nurturing mother who practices both magic and martial arts. Their strength is rarely matched within the same rank. Having such an all-around helper, you can imagine how much the strength will increase. It can be said, with these two epic talents, his combat power has at least increased tenfold. Even against legendary powerhouses, he is not inferior. And if the companion angel can have children, that would be even better. Giving birth to children with angels. They will surely produce highly talented offspring with angelic bloodlines. Thinking of this, Ren immediately couldn't wait to experiment. Using the companion angel talent. Accompanied by the sound of holy and sacred singing. A golden gate adorned with various angels appeared before Ren's eyes. The next second, a holy light angel walked out of it. Standing quietly in front of Ren, its aura is extremely powerful, reaching the level of 15th rank. I knew there wouldn't be such a good thing. Looking at the angel in front of him, surrounded by holy light from head to toe, Ren sighed disappointedly. The holy light angel is a celestial being composed of energy. It is inherently neutral. In other words, it has no gender. Even with its extraordinary reproductive abilities, it is impossible for a genderless holy light angel to become pregnant. 
Therefore, his angelic pregnancy plan naturally had to be declared bankrupt. In the blink of an eye, two more years have passed. During this time, Jessica, Charlene, Serena, and others who have experienced a 10-month pregnancy have all given birth to Ren offspring. The Habsburg family has gained nine newborns. I wonder if Anna gave birth to golden-level twins due to Ren depleted luck. The children born afterwards have ordinary aptitudes. Most of them are at the black iron and bronze levels. Only two have higher level qi cultivation aptitudes, reaching the silver level. In this situation, the system rewards are naturally average. These children have provided him with a total of 94 years of qi cultivation, as well as several low level combat techniques and items. After fusing them all together, Ren qi cultivation has improved slightly. His strength has not undergone significant changes. Just as the Habsburg family welcomed a large number of newborns, the external situation also underwent drastic changes. The previously occupied territory of the Eaglin family has now become the demon stronghold. Countless demons have emerged from the large demon teleportation gates in the Eaglin territory. Like a virus, they spread rapidly throughout the entire kingdom of Lance. Burning, killing, and preying on humans everywhere. In this situation, the three major transcendent knight orders that barely maintained order in the kingdom of Lance suddenly couldn't hold on anymore. They suffered heavy losses, there was no other choice. The King of Lance could only recall all three major transcendent knight orders to guard the capital. Without the suppression of the three major transcendent knight orders, the Kingdom of Lance descended into complete chaos. The demon army attacked human villages and towns they encountered without restraint. In less than a month, hundreds of towns were breached by the demon army. Countless noble families disappeared. Millions of humans were slaughtered and devoured. A terrifying catastrophe is unfolding in the land of the Kingdom of Ren. The situation in the Kingdom of Ren is deteriorating. The Rhine region is also not faring well. Every day, news of the destruction of the Baron family and the Viscount family by the Demon Army can be heard. However, the territory of Ren is relatively stable. Adequate preparations have been made in advance. The seven cities in the Habsburg territory can be said to be armed to the teeth. After this period of urgent production, each city is equipped with 15 magic crystal cannons and several magic city crossbows. In addition, there are towering city walls and protective magic arrays. In the face of such a level of defensive force, the ordinary demon army can't even stir up a storm. After repelling the demon army's attacks several times and killing over a hundred thousand demons, those demons couldn't be bothered to come again. After all, there are so many humans outside that can be easily hunted and devoured, so why bother with such a tough bone? Although their brains may not be functioning well, they still know how to seek benefits and avoid harm. Therefore, the Habsburg territory has become the only haven in the 4.5 th district of the Rhine without large-scale demon invasions. Of course, how long this haven can be maintained is unknown. It's hard to say when a legendary level demon will lead a demon army to attack. Ren also dare not take it lightly. Every day, they are busy producing magic crystal cannons and continuously strengthening the defensive firepower of the territory. And so, two months quickly passed, on this afternoon. A group of knights riding royal griffins descended from the sky. They arrived at the Eagle City. These people represent the King of Ren and have come to seek assistance from Ren. According to the accounts of these knights, a legendary level 6 armed snake demon is leading hundreds of thousands of demon army to surround the city of Debite. The situation in the capital city of Debite is extremely critical now. His Majesty the King hopes that Ren, in consideration of the alliance between the two families, can go to support Debite City and help resolve this enormous crisis. P.S. Talent level. Normal, rare, epic, say. Chapter 107 Supporting the Royal Capital, Dibbit City Captured by Demons. This king really knows how to give me a difficult problem. Upon hearing the news of the capital's danger from the Griffin Knights, Ran immediately felt a headache. A legendary level 6 armed snake demon, and an army of tens of thousands of demons. This is a tough challenge. Facing such a powerful demon army head on, he didn't have confidence in being able to escape unscathed. However, his fiancée, Princess Elsa, was still in the city of Dibbet. He couldn't just sit idly by, allowing his own woman to perish. He couldn't bear it either. And his sixth daughter, Hilda, who served in the Lionheart Legion, was currently stationed in the capital. If the capital were to be breached, Hilda's fate would be. After much thought, Ren finally decided to make this trip. He was quite confident in his current strength. He was not at all inferior to some low-level legendary powerhouses. Although this level of strength couldn't defeat that terrifying demon army. But if he was determined to escape, he could definitely get away. Upon arriving in the capital city of Dibbit, act accordingly. 
If it becomes impossible, directly take Princess Elsa and our daughter and run away. Ren made up his mind. After all, he was absolutely not willing to die defending the city of Dibbit for the Lance royal family. That would be playing with his own life. He still had his wife, children, and territory to protect. If he died, the Habsburg family would fall apart. After making his decision, Ren immediately began arranging matters in his territory. At the same time, he used his dual body talent to summon a clone with his full strength. Ensuring that even after he left, the Habsburg family would still have a high-end combat force guarding it. In fact, if he didn't possess this talent, he definitely wouldn't leave his territory and go to the capital. After all, Princess Elsa is his fiancée, and Hilda is his daughter, that's correct. But the Habsburg family also has more than ten wives who need his protection. In a situation where he is stretched thin, naturally, he cannot abandon his wives and children and leave hastily. Otherwise, what will happen to the territory when he is gone and it is attacked by legendary demons? He doesn't want to come back and find his territory turned into a wasteland. With all his wives and children dead, it can be said. The dual body talent came just in time, like an epic gift. It directly solves his worries about the future. After confirming that everything is arranged properly, Ren didn't wait for those griffin knights, he rode a holy light pegasus. And flew towards the direction of the capital city, debate. And just as Ren received the king's plea for help and hurriedly made his way to the capital city. The situation in Debate City was not optimistic. Countless demons were attacking this magnificent giant city of the Lance Kingdom. Although most of them were low-level demons, weak in strength, only at the level of low-level transcendent beings. But there were also a considerable number of high-level demons among them. Such as the Demon Hunting Spider, the Soul Judge Demon, the Flame Demon, the Stone Giant Demon, and so on. These demons at least possessed the strength of high-level transcendent beings. Among them, the best of the best even reached the tenth rank and above. Even though the city walls of the capital city, Debate, were high and thick, and were reinforced with powerful magic, they were still unable to stop this terrifying army of demons from attacking. In less than an hour, the soldiers responsible for guarding the city walls were heavily damaged by the tide-like army of demons pouring onto the city walls. A hundred thousand soldiers, now there were less than forty thousand left. If it weren't for the fact that demons were extremely evil creatures. Allowing the demon army to enter the city would undoubtedly result in his own death. This army had long since collapsed and surrendered. Even so, the extremely high casualty rate has brought morale to an all-time low. The defending army corps is showing signs of collapse. Inform the three major extraordinary knight orders to support the city wall defenses. The royal mage corps will use magic to provide firepower coverage. We absolutely cannot let those damn demons break through. Seeing this scene, the Minister of Military Command, responsible for military operations, showed a hint of anxiety in his eyes and gave the order. The demon onslaught is too fierce, even though the three major knight orders are still recovering and have not returned to their optimal state. They must still hold the line. At this rate, the capital city walls will be captured by the demon army in less than ten minutes. Yes. Receiving the command, the messenger immediately ran to inform the other corps. A few minutes later, Thousands of extraordinary knights, wearing iron armor and wielding large swords, ascended the city walls. With the addition of this powerful reinforcement, the originally crumbling defense line instantly stabilized. At the same time, at the top of the mage tower in the center of the capital city, under the leadership of the chief mage of the royal mage corps, dozens of senior mages of seventh rank and above chanted spells together. As time passed, an extremely powerful energy fluctuation gathered in the sky above the city walls. When the final part of the spell ended, a huge fire cloud with a diameter of tens of thousands of meters formed with a loud boom. Super magic joint casting, giant meteor fire rain. The next second, gigantic fireballs emitting terrifying high temperatures continuously condensed within the dark red fire cloud. Then, like shooting stars, they rapidly fell towards the demon army on the ground. Boom, 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 it was as if missiles were carpet bombing the area. Thousands of fireballs fell and exploded on the ground. In an instant, the land outside the city walls turned into a sea of fire. This powerful magic lasted for nearly three minutes. During this time, at least close to a hundred thousand demons were burned to ashes by the flames. For a moment, the pressure on the defense line of the Debiate city walls was instantly reduced by more than half. However, 427 didn't have to be happy for too long. A few minutes later, the demon army regrouped. More demons filled the positions of the previously deceased demons and continued to launch attacks towards Debiate City. 
And this time, the Royal Mage Corps was powerless. The release of the super powerful magic had already depleted their magic power. Without the firepower support of the Mage Corps, the soldiers and members of the Knight Order on the city wall could only deal with the constantly charging demons themselves. However, the number of demons was simply too many. No matter how they killed, the number seemed to remain unchanged. As if it were endless. As time passed, the physical condition of the guards and members of the Knight Order on the city wall deteriorated. The number of sacrifices and deaths began to rise rapidly. Noticing the rapid decrease in resistance on the city wall, the demon army became even more excited. More and more high level demons began to lead the charge. They were ready to reap the fruits of victory and rampage through this giant city. Even the legendary six armed snake demon, who had always been sitting back and using other demons as cannon fodder, also made a move. Like the last straw that broke the camel's back. The guards and members of the Knight Order guarding the city wall were instantly defeated. Three minutes later, the tall city walls guarding the city were occupied by countless demons. The city of King Debite in the Kingdom of Lance fell. Chapter 108 The Tragic Death of King Lance, the Extremely Ferocious Snake Demon. Crossing the city walls, this obstacle. Tens of thousands of demons rushed into the city of Debite, killing and devouring humans. Wails, screams, and cries of pain echoed one after another. Resounding through the sky above the royal capital. Lance Palace. Standing on the high platform. Looking at the city that had already become a hell, King Lance was stunned, his face filled with despair and unwillingness. He knew that everything was over. Today, the thousand-year foundation of the Lance royal family was about to be destroyed by these damn demons. Father, while the demons haven't reached the palace yet, let's escape quickly. Otherwise, it will be too late when the demon army surrounds the palace. The eldest prince, Kurogor, said anxiously, That's right. Only by staying alive can we have a chance to regroup and restore the glory and foundation of the royal family in the future. The third prince, Axis, who had always been at odds with the eldest prince, also spoke up. He didn't want to die. Especially not at the hands of demons. This way of dying was too miserable. His soul would be completely swallowed. Upon hearing the words of his two most outstanding children, King Lance, who was in a daze, showed a glimmer of light in his cloudy eyes. That's right. The foundation was already gone. But the inheritance of the Lance royal family must not be severed here. There is hope with talent. Thinking of this, King Lance immediately ordered to the crowd. You're right. Order all members of the royal family to pack up their valuable items and ride warhorses to the east gate of the palace. Knight Andrew, immediately gather all members of the royal knight order and prepare to break out of the city. The royal knight order does not belong to the three major extraordinary knight orders, it is a private army directly under the royal family. Although the number is only over a thousand, it cannot compare to the three major extraordinary knight orders, which often have tens of thousands of members. But their elite level is superior. Even the lowest ranking members of the Royal Knight Order have the strength of the fifth rank. The leader of the Royal Knight Order is even a Sky Knight. It can be said that the Royal Knight Order is the last trump card and defense line of the Lance Royal Family. Deploying this army represents the most critical moment for the Lance Royal Family. It's time for the final gamble. Yes. 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 Receiving the King's order, several princes showed a hint of joy on their faces. They immediately went to find other members of the royal family. And Captain Andrew began to gather all members of the royal knight order. A few minutes later, members of the royal family arrived one after another at the east gate. Princess Elsa was also among them. By her side was a woman full of heroic spirit. It was Hilda, the sixth daughter of the Wren family. Knowing Hilda's identity, the Burchilwo family of the Lance royal family died a tragic death in a bloody battle with demons. Therefore, after summoning the Lion Corps back to the capital, the Lance royal family transferred Hilda from the front lines to be Princess Elsa's personal guard. That's why. Hilda and Princess Elsa are able to act together. Hilda, do you think we can really escape? Princess Elsa tightly gripped her staff and asked in a worried voice. In her crystal clear azure eyes, helplessness, unease, and fear were revealed. What happened today was really terrifying. Demons broke into the city and slaughtered indiscriminately. Now the Lance royal family is abandoning everything and fleeing. These major events make her, who has never experienced hardships and has been pampered since childhood, feel very insecure. Knowing that the young princess in front of her is her father's fiance. Also her stepmother. They are all family. Hilda didn't mean to mock her. Instead, she reassured her with a firm tone, we definitely can. That's what she said but she also had some doubts in her heart. After all, there are at least a hundred thousand demons rampaging in Debite. Not to mention outside the city, 
the number will only be greater. To break free from such a huge demon army, the difficulty. I don't know Hilda's true thoughts. After hearing Hilda's words, Princess Elsa's anxious and uneasy heart calmed down a lot. Just as the two girls were talking, thousands of members of the royal knights gathered from all directions. After completing the assembly, King Lance of the Lance Kingdom immediately ordered the start of the breakout outside the city. Due to the large number of people, King Lance directly chose the Blue Mountain Avenue, which is the widest and leads directly to the city gate, as the breakout route. Under the protection of the royal knights, the Lance royal family's advance speed was very fast. The small groups of demons encountered along the way were unable to hinder the progress of the crowd. However, the good times didn't last long, due to the large number of people and the size of the target. The breakout team of the Lance royal family quickly attracted the attention of many high-level demons. A large number of high-level demons flocked towards them in groups. In this situation, the resistance encountered by the breakout team of the Lance royal family became increasingly stronger. The speed of advancement has become increasingly slow. Misfortune always strikes when the roof is leaking. Having completed more than half of the journey, when the city gate is within sight. The legendary six-armed snake demon, which is currently happily devouring humans, also notices this group of highly advanced superhumans. The flesh and souls of superhumans are evidently much more delicious than those of ordinary people. The evolutionary energy obtained after devouring them is also more abundant. The higher the level of the superhuman, the more so. Understanding this point, the gaze of the legendary six-armed snake demon towards the royal escape team is filled with greed. As if seeing some extraordinary delicacy, without hesitation, it launches an attack on them. Its snake tail swings, and in the blink of an eye, it charges into the formation of the royal knights. At the same time, its six arms hold six large knives, spinning like a meat grinder. Wherever it passes, whether human or demon, all are shredded into pieces. In an instant, the royal knights have lost nearly half of their men. Andrew, the Sky Knight and the leader of the knights, is also powerless and dies at the hands of this six-armed snake demon. As for King Lance and several princes who were protected closely by Knight Andrew. It goes without saying, they too become food in the mouths of demons, being devoured alive. Seeing the backbone of the main force completely gone, the royal escape team instantly fell into chaos. Everyone lost the courage to face this ferocious demon. Everyone's faces were filled with fear, scattering in all directions. In such chaos, Hilda's reaction was also extremely quick. Decisively pulling Princess Elsa, she led a small group of royal knights towards the direction of the city gate to escape. After all, Dibbet has now become a playground for demons. Not escaping from this ghostly place would undoubtedly lead to death. It's just a matter of dying sooner or later. Taking advantage of others scattering and attracting the demons' attention. Quickly leaving the city is the best choice, this decision was very correct. Unfortunately, Lady Luck clearly did not favor them. The team scattered. After devouring more than a dozen humans who were relatively close to itself, the six-armed snake demon turned its attention to Tilda and the others. Soon, swinging its snake tail, it chased after them. Because hiss, 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 hearing the sharp and terrifying strange snake hissing sound getting closer from behind. Hilda and Elsa's hearts beat even more violently. They desperately urged their warhorses to accelerate. However, this is obviously useless. Even an ordinary Warcraft warhorse, even if it runs until it spits blood, cannot match the speed of a legendary demon. In just a few seconds, the six-armed snake demon rushed behind Hilda and the others. As if it had just feasted and was full, the six-armed snake demon was ready to have some post-meal entertainment and play around. But it didn't swing the six large knives in its hands as ferociously as before, cutting everyone into pieces. It only used its hands to cut off the legs of the horses that Hilda and the others were riding. Liu, 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 the warhorses screamed and fell down. Hilda and the others who were sitting on the horses were thrown off and rolled on the ground several times. That demon is catching up, run, enduring the intense pain. They got up from the ground. Hilda pulled Princess Aisha and rushed into a nearby alley. And the six-armed snake demon followed closely behind the two women. Like a cat playing with a mouse occasionally launching attacks, watching the two women panic and flee. No matter whether Hilda and the others used magic or combat skills, they couldn't shake off the pursuit of this demon. More than ten minutes later, under such intense and frantic fleeing, Hilda and Princess Elsa quickly depleted their physical strength, fighting spirit and magic power. Naturally, their speed also slowed down. Seeing this, the six-armed snake demon seemed to have had enough fun. With a burst of speed, 
It easily ran ahead of the two women's escape route and blocked their way. Seeing this terrifying demon gradually approaching them, Hilda and Princess Elsa's hearts sank rapidly. Their eyes were filled with thick despair. They knew that they were most likely doomed. Hiss. Seeing the fear and despair on the faces of these humans. The ugly face of the six-armed snake demon clearly showed a pleased expression. Immediately, it raised the large knife in its hand high, ready to dismember the two women. Mouth. Accompanied by the sound of air tearing. The six large knives fell rapidly. Hilda and Elsa, who had no power to resist, instinctively closed their eyes. Waiting for death to come. However, the next second. Holy light shatters evil slash. A nearly 10 meter long golden sword energy descended from the sky. Carrying the purifying holy aura, it fiercely slashed down on the six armed snake demon's head. The speed was like light, reaching its extreme. Chapter 109 Holy Sword Judgment Slay the Legendary Demon. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Feeling the strong threat of this divine sword energy to itself, the six armed snake demon immediately let out a rather irritable hiss. Quickly switching from offense to defense, with lightning speed, it retracted all its large swords and held them horizontally above its head. The dazzling divine sword energy collided with the large swords in the hands of the six armed snake demon. Boom! A violent explosion resounded. The powerful impact directly sent the six armed snake demon flying hundreds of meters away. Along the way, it smashed more than ten houses before finally coming to a stop. Coming back to their senses, seeing the previously extremely ferocious six armed snake demon being knocked away, Hilda and Elsa, who had just saved their lives, were shocked. When did a powerful individual capable of contending with legendary demons appear in the royal city of Debite? However, this thought only flashed through their minds. The current dangerous situation didn't leave them much time to think. Taking advantage of the six armed snake demon being knocked away, the two of them immediately prepared to seize the opportunity to escape. However, the next second, Ren, riding a holy light Pegasus, landed in front of Hilda and Elsa. Are you both all right? Looking at his daughter and fiancé, who were in a sorry state, Ren asked with concern. Father, Ren, seeing Ren riding a winged unicorn white horse descending from the sky, Hilda and Elsa widened their eyes and exclaimed. They didn't expect that it was their father, fiancé, who saved them. After all, normally speaking, Ren should be in the Habsburg territory thousands of kilometers away from the royal city. How could he suddenly appear here? I received a distress message from His Majesty the King. When I arrived, Dibbet City had already been breached by demons. Sensing the doubt in the hearts of the two, Ren explained casually. Upon hearing this, Hilda and Elsa both showed a sudden realization. Just as Ren was about to say something else, Chi, Chi, Chi. The six-armed snake demon that was blasted away rushed towards them at an extremely fast speed. Six large knives in its hands were enveloped in dark red hellfire. It swung down towards Ren. This process took no more than two seconds. Such a fast ambush, an ordinary person would definitely not react in time. But Ren was already prepared. He immediately triggered the Eternal Frost Shield, a five-ring magic embedded in the silver frost armor. Summoning a giant shield of solid ice overflowing with a chilling aura, he protected himself and Hilda. Chi, 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 the sound of cutting and colliding rang out. The terrifying strikes of the six-armed snake demon were all blocked. Afterwards, Ren quickly launched a counterattack. Activating the Holy Dragon Chi. Wielding the Storm Great Sword in his hand. In less than 0.1 seconds, he consecutively unleashed two dazzling divine sword energies. The centers of these two sword energies connected, forming a cross shape. With an incomparable sharpness, they struck the six-armed snake demon. Holy Light Cross Slash. Hiss. The Holy Light burned brightly. Under the direct impact, the six-armed snake demon was once again blasted away. Simultaneously, it emitted a painful and angry hissing sound. The gaze towards Ren was about to spew fire, however. After the previous exchange, it also knew that Ren was a tough opponent. It didn't rashly attack again. Instead, it chose to gather its demon minions to surround and attack Ren. Feeling the rapid gathering of the demon army around him, Ren turned to Aisha and Hilda and said. You two go first. I'll hold them off. After speaking, without waiting for their response. He jumped straight down from the Holy Light Warhorse and helped the two of them up. Then, he used his innate ability, Companion Angel, to summon a 15th level Holy Light Angel. Under Ren command, the Holy Light Pegasus carried Princess Aisha and Hilda, swiftly flying towards the sky. The Holy Light Angel followed closely behind, seeing this scene. Many demons with flying abilities immediately swarmed over. However, 
These demons were simply walking into their own deaths. Only to see the holy light angel raise its sword high in its right hand. The next second. An incredibly dazzling holy light shone. All the flying demons that approached turned into ashes amidst their miserable screams. Under the escort of the holy light angel and the holy light Pegasus. Hilda and Aisha successfully left Debiate City. Without worrying about the safety of the two women. Ren could truly unleash his full strength and fight the six-armed snake demon. Activating the berserk state without taking any damage. He directly launched a fierce attack towards the pursuing six-armed snake demon. Holy Light Slash. Divine Storm. One powerful combat technique after another continuously condensed from Ren hands, attacking the six-armed snake demon. However, that legendary level 6 armed snake demon was not to be underestimated. Although it was restrained by the power of the holy light. Its own strength was one realm higher than Ren. In his hand, there were six large knives made from unknown bones, swung with such force that not even a breeze could pass through. He successfully blocked Ren attack. At the same time, he had his subordinates attack Ren. Creating opportunities for himself to win. Facing the legendary six armed snake demon and a large number of demons attacking him. Ren was also under immense pressure. If it weren't for him being a legendary profession and having a large number of practical talents and abilities, he would have long been unable to withstand defeat. However, even so, the situation was rapidly turning in a direction unfavorable to him. Ten minutes later, the berserk state without any injuries ended. Feeling the power, DCD, rapidly dissipating in his body, Ren suddenly had the intention to retreat. He came to Debiate City this time to save people. Not to fight these demons to the death. Delaying for such a long time now. Presumably, these demons wouldn't be able to catch up to Hilda and Elsa either. So he should also make his escape, thinking like this. Ren didn't hesitate to trigger the second ring magic of the silver frost armor he was wearing, Frost Nova. The next second, the temperature dropped sharply. The chilling frost rapidly spread from Ren to the surroundings. In the blink of an eye, all the demons within a one kilometer radius were frozen by the frost, turned into ice sculptures. Controlling the movements of these demons, Ren also had no intention to attack. Immediately activating his chi, he spread his wind and thunder wings. Quickly ascending into the sky to escape, however, that legendary six-armed snake demon had no intention of letting Ren go. Struggling to break free from the binding of the second ring magic frost nova. Its eyes locked onto Ren who was rapidly ascending. Petrifying gaze, activate. As a demon race with Medusa bloodline, only a few six-armed snake demons could awaken the special ability to petrify enemies through their eyes. This ability's power was equivalent to seventh ring magic. No casting trajectory. Once it hits, it cannot be blocked by objects. Once hit, the body would immediately enter a petrified state lasting for several months. Even if the physique was too weak, it would directly be permanently turned into stone. Completely dead. Unexpectedly. This legendary six-armed snake demon still had this hidden card. Caught off guard. Ren was hit head on, however. With the holy dragon's fighting spirit that resists negative states and a powerful physique comparable to that of a young dragon. This magic didn't take effect immediately. Turning his whole body into stone. Of course. It's just a matter of time. Damn it. Watching his body continuously petrify, Ren cursed inwardly. At this rate. In less than three minutes, his whole body will completely turn into stone, losing all resistance. By then, his life will definitely be gone. Since this life is going to be gone anyway, let's make the most of it. Thinking like this, a hint of fierceness flashed in Ren's eyes. No more running away. He turned his head and charged towards the six-armed snake demon once again. Before losing his life, he wanted to kill this damn legendary demon. Operating the fighting spirit according to a mysterious trajectory. Minus five. 20%, emptying all the fighting spirit energy in his body. Six holy swords emitting dazzling light were temporarily condensed by Ren. Each one is equivalent to an epic weapon, under Ren control. These six golden holy swords turned into invisible streams of extremely fast light, executing a death sentence on the six-armed snake demon below. Seven-star battle technique, holy sword judgment. Under the influence of this extremely powerful divine power, the surrounding space temporarily solidified, causing the six-armed snake demon to enter a peculiar state of paralysis. Unable to move, hiss. Feeling an unprecedented threat of death, fear appeared in the eyes of the six-armed snake demon. Frantically activating its own power. Successfully breaking free from the restraint before the attack arrived. The moment it regained its mobility. 
The six-armed snake demon immediately used the advanced teleportation technique of a high-level demon, leaving the original spot. However, it was useless. Under the influence of the law of causality, the talent of guaranteed hits. These six holy swords still accurately hit the body of the six-armed snake demon. Piercing through its body, the next second, boom! An extremely rich divine power erupted from the holy swords, turning into golden holy flames radiating scorching heat. From the inside out, completely igniting the six-armed snake demon. Under the mad burning of this majestic holy flame, in less than ten seconds, this ferocious and powerful demon was completely reduced to ashes. Legendary Level 6 Armed Snake Demon, Dead, Chapter 110 The Principality of Lance Perished, Mary Princess Elsa. Wasting my life, you can consider yourself dead as well. Looking at the six-armed snake demon in front of him completely turning into ashes, Ren muttered to himself. He is now weaker than ever before. All the fighting spirit in his body has been exhausted, and his body is rapidly petrifying. In another two minutes, I'm afraid I won't even be able to move. In order to prevent myself from turning into stone and completely losing my ability to move. At the same time, in order to recover my state and break through the encircling demon army. Without hesitation, Ren raised the storm greatsword in his hand and wiped his own neck. The next second, his head fell, and blood gushed out from Ren's neck. This decisive suicide operation stunned the surrounding demons. Just as the demons around thought Ren was already dead and were preparing to feast on his body. The next second, something unbelievable happened to the demons. As if time had reversed. Ren, who had already died, appeared intact again, and his aura had even recovered to a state stronger than before. No even twice as strong as before, holy light storm. After completing the resurrection through the protection of the twelve trials of the world, Ren attacked the demons around who witnessed his resurrection without hesitation. There's no way. This ability is just too overpowered. In order to prevent his hidden trump card from being revealed, he naturally had to kill all the witnesses. The next second. A holy energy storm, hundreds of meters high and two kilometers in diameter, condensed out of thin air. Madly sweeping and killing everything around. In an instant, tens of thousands of demons were purified by the holy light. After clearing all the surrounding demons, Ren didn't stay for long either. Using the wind and thunder twin wings, he quickly ascended into the sky and left. As for saving the city of Debite, this city is beyond saving. From a bird's eye view, countless demons are spread throughout every corner of the city. In this situation, I'm afraid all the people in the city have been killed by demons. Even if someone luckily survived and went into hiding, it would still take a lot of time to search for them. And he obviously can't waste time here, the demonic disaster is getting worse. His wife, children, and territory are waiting for him to return and protect them. Following the contract connection with the Holy Light Pegasus, Ren quickly caught up with his daughter and fiancé who had left earlier. After successfully reuniting, Ren flew with the two women towards the direction of the Habsburg territory. They traveled at full speed. Eight hours later, Ren and the others returned to Eagle City, Habsburg Manor. My daughter, you're finally back. Janice tearfully embraced Hilda, filled with excitement. Since Hilda left home to join the army, they have been separated for a long time. Not to mention, during this time of demon rampage, the Lion Legion often fought against the demon army. She was afraid of hearing news of her daughter's death in battle. Now seeing Hilda's safe and sound figure, the worry in her heart finally dissipated. Mother, I'm fine. Feeling her mother's concern, Hilda also felt warm in her heart. The mother and daughter embraced each other, wordless for a long time. After calming their emotions, Janice shifted her attention to Elsa, who was by Ren's side. The other wives also cast curious glances. Dear, who is this person by your side? Although covered in dust, she looked quite disheveled. But it still couldn't hide the noble temperament of this girl. Clearly, this girl's identity is not simple. Hello, sisters. My name is Elsa, and I am Ren fiancé. Before Ren could speak, Elsa took the initiative to introduce herself. Because of those damn demons, her father and brothers all died. Her husband Ren is her only reliance in the future. In this situation, she naturally wants to be more proactive and leave a good impression on her husband's wives. In order to integrate into this big family as soon as possible. So you are Princess Elsa. Upon hearing this name, Janice and the others suddenly realized. They naturally knew about the engagement between their husband and Princess Elsa, who was known as the most beautiful woman in the duchy. They just hadn't seen Princess Elsa's appearance. They just momentarily forgot about it, confirming that they are family. Janice and the others became more enthusiastic, they directly left Ren aside. They pulled Princess Elsa aside to chat and talk. 
flowers please, when they heard that Princess Elsa's relatives were killed by demons not long ago. They couldn't help but feel pity and sympathy for Princess Elsa, their future sister. More than ten women chattered and chatted passionately. Ren, who was eavesdropping, was a little confused at this moment. The King of Lance and the Crown Prince and others are all dead? Doesn't that mean the Duchy of Lance is destroyed? How unpredictable life is, coming back to his senses. Ren had a deeper understanding of the horror of this magical disaster. A family that rules a country can be wiped out so easily. Next, it's possible that the Habsburg family will be next. After all, the disaster caused by the demons has not shown any signs of stopping. On the contrary, it is getting worse. Now, there are legendary level demons emerging from the bottomless abyss. In the near future, there will probably be even more powerful demons appearing. If even the demon lord were to come out of the abyss, then. I hope my guess is wrong, Ren thought anxiously. The true power of the demon lord's actual form is completely different from the projection he fought before. Even the weakest demon lord has at least a semi-divine grade strength. This is an opponent he absolutely cannot defeat at his current stage. If the demon lord leads the demon army to attack the Habsburg family. It would be lucky if he could escape with his wife and children. Otherwise, the probability of a game over is high. Three days later, Ren and Princess Elsa held their wedding. When they were engaged before, they said they would get married when Elsa came of age the following year. And at the beginning of this year, Princess Elsa had already come of age. However, due to the appearance of the demonic disaster, the wedding had been delayed until now. Now is the perfect time to make up for it, after the wedding. Princess Elsa's status changed from fiancé to official wife. That night, the two of them completed the final step. Compared to the other wives, although Princess Elsa's experience is not the greatest, her skin is smooth and fair like a porcelain doll. Ren can't get enough of it. Chapter 111 Runaway Plan, Legendary Behemoth Star Whale Two months later. Since the fall of the Lance royal family and the occupation of the Dibbit royal city by demons, the external demonic calamity has become increasingly severe. There are at least millions of demons rampaging across the land of the Lance Duchy. Among them are several legendary level demons. In such a harsh environment, the Lance Duchy is filled with cries of despair. Nowadays, the weaker small nobles have basically been wiped out by the demons. Without those easy prey, a large number of demons have started to gather and attack the territories of powerful high-ranking nobles together. The territory of Ren has also encountered more than 10 invasions by demon armies. Some of them are small scale, numbering in the thousands. Others are large scale, with numbers exceeding tens of thousands. Fortunately, Ren is strong. In addition, the major cities within the territory have established extremely comprehensive defense systems. Every time, they are able to successfully repel the demon army's attacks without suffering significant losses. However, although Ren successfully defended its territory, he was not happy. Because he discovered that the demon army's attacks have become more fierce recently. Obviously, as the human forces of the Lance Duchy continue to diminish, the demon army's hunting targets are also shrinking and concentrating. If this continues, when all the other noble territories of the Lance Duchy are completely destroyed and occupied, all the demons will rush towards the Habs territory. Imagine the terrifying scene of millions of demon armies gathering at the Habs territory. Ren's mood is also extremely heavy. If possible, he naturally wants to prevent this scene from happening. However, this matter is obviously beyond his capabilities. Unless a demigod or ten extraordinary powerful individuals intervene. Otherwise, the demon army ravaging the kingdom of Lance cannot be resolved. The only thing he can do now is hope that other nobles can step up, withstand the demon army's attack, and hold out until the end of the calamity. If we really can't defend our territory, I can only flee with my wife and children. Ren has already prepared for the worst in his heart. However, apart from this troublesome matter, everything else is developing in a positive direction. Under Ren hard work, Princess Elsa is already pregnant. At the same time, Jessica, Serena, Charlene, and others are also pregnant. The Habsburg family suddenly has ten more expectant mothers. As for Anna, after more than a year of cultivation, she is now a third-tier Holy Word priest. She is currently preparing to break through to the fourth tier, promoting to an intermediate transcendent. In order to not distract Anna and let her focus on her cultivation, Ren did not let her get pregnant again. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, another month has passed. During this time, besides preparing an escape route, Ren has focused more on his wives. Because. Katie, Leifa, Frenna, Betty, and Lysia are all due in less than a month. He is looking forward to the birth of this group of children. After all, 
The bloodline and aptitude of Katie, Lifa, Frenna, Betty, and Lucia are all very good. As long as luck isn't too bad, there's a high probability of having a golden level offspring. One week later, Frenna was the first to be sent into the delivery room. Due to the rampage of the magical disaster, the priests of the life church can no longer be invited. There is no life priest who can perform the conservation divine art to help. This time, Frenna can only rely on herself and the midwife for childbirth. Ren anxiously waited outside the delivery room. Afraid that Frenna's delivery would not go smoothly. The thing he worried about did not happen. Half an hour later. A loud cry of a baby came from inside. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the 100th child of the host. The magic aptitude of this offspring is super. The fighting spirit aptitude is high. And the hidden bloodline is elf. Already awakened. Naturally possessing extraordinary talents such as nature whisper and animal friend. Evaluation is golden level. Rewards. 100 years of fighting spirit cultivation, a battle technique deduction card, and a growing stage star realm whale. Close black lens bracket. This time, Frenna's belly was very promising, and she directly had a great start. Once again, she gave birth to a golden level offspring with an awakened elf bloodline. And the system rewards were also very generous, in addition to the 100 years of fighting spirit cultivation. It also gave a battle technique deduction card and a growing stage star realm whale. This reward of a battle technique deduction card is the first time it has appeared. Ren took a look at it. He found that this thing was very practical, with a simple and straightforward effect. After using it, one can directly deduce a lower level battle technique into a more powerful advanced battle technique. The lower the original star rating of the battle technique, the more obvious the deduction effect. The highest is 7 star rating, in other words. If used well, it is equivalent to having an additional 7 star rating battle technique. However, Compared to the tactical simulation card, the growing period star realm whale is more valued by Ren. It is a legendary behemoth that lives in the vast star realms. Compared to other star realm behemoths, the star realm whale is gentle in nature and massive in size. Its combat power is not strong. However, this legendary creature possesses a remarkably powerful innate ability, internal space. Unlike the space ring that can only hold inanimate objects. The internal space of the star realm whale can not only gradually expand with its strength, but also accommodate living beings. Coupled with its natural speed and defense, it is truly a born star realm warship. The star realm wanderer, Giz Yonki, tamed and rode on this behemoth, traversing the star seas and establishing a glorious empire. This star realm whale came at just the right time. Recalling the information in his mind, Ren's face showed a hint of joy. The external situation is as dangerous as a chicken's egg. Lately, he has been worried about how to protect his territory and how to escape with his wives, children, and belongings. After all, he now has a large family and a large business. His wife, son, and grandson together amount to nearly 200 people. To bring along so many people, breaking through the encirclement of the demon army and escaping to safety is not a simple matter. Thinking it over, he couldn't find a perfect solution. His worries have turned his hair white, but with the Sterelm Whale as a large transport ship, the problem that has troubled him for a long time is instantly solved. If the territory really cannot be defended, at that time, he can have all the members of the Habu's family enter the belly of the Sterelm Whale, and then ride the Sterelm Whale to escape. Simple, fast, and safe. Chapter 112 System Upgrade, Family Mall Opens. Claim the reward. Suppressing his excitement, Ren silently recited in his heart. In the blink of an eye, the fusion of his hundred-year battle spirit cultivation was successful. However, for the current Ren, this level of cultivation was somewhat insignificant. It was still far from enough for him to step into the legendary realm. After the fusion of his cultivation, a silver-white card appeared in front of Ren. Obviously, this was the combat skill deduction card. Ren had long had ideas on how to use the combat skill deduction card. Whether it was to complement his sacred attribute with the Holy Dragon Battle Chi technique, or to deal with those demons, Strengthening the four-star combat skill of the sacred attribute, Holy Light Slash, was his best choice. Without hesitation, Ren picked up the combat skill deduction card and used it on the Holy Light Slash combat skill. Under the influence of a certain magical power, the Holy Light Slash combat skill in his mind continuously deduced and advanced, becoming more profound and powerful. After a few minutes, the new Holy Light Slash combat skill was freshly released. Compared to the previous Holy Light Slash, the new combat skill directly utilized the holy fire that had been sublimated by burning high concentration holy light for combat. Its power had increased at least 20 times, the star rating had also changed from 4 stars to 7 stars. 
This 7 star combat skill is somewhat inappropriate to be called Holy Light Slash. Let's call it Sacred Flame Sword Cannon. After giving this new combat skill a pleasing name, Ren began to use the contract in his mind and attempted to summon the Star Realm Whale. Next second, a giant teleportation gate, over 20 meters long and 30 meters wide, opens. Immediately, a huge whale with a black and blue body and surrounded by blue stardust flies out of the teleportation gate. Floating around Ren, it emits a strange yet pleasant hum. It truly is a legendary star beast in its adult stage. It already possesses the strength of the 14th stage in its growth period alone. As Ren strokes the smooth skin of this growing star whale, which is as reflective as a mirror, he sighs in amazement. Then, he instructs the star whale to open its mouth. Through the esophagus, Ren quickly enters a vast space. This space is approximately 5 square kilometers. Inside, there is water, there is soil. It is large enough to accommodate tens of thousands of people. And as the star whale's cultivation improves, this space will continue to expand. Looking at everything in front of him, Ren nods in satisfaction. With such a large space, not to mention bringing members of the Habs family. Even if he were to bring all the knights of the Habs family and the core members of the Shadow Organization, it would be easy to fit them all. By then, even if he were to escape to another place, he wouldn't need to start building his influence from scratch. Then, Ren tests the speed and defense of this growing star whale. The results are very satisfying. At full speed, it can reach 312 meters per second. As for defense, just by looking at its huge size, one can tell. In one word, it is tough. Attacks below the legendary level are unlikely to cause fatal injuries to it. As a means of transportation, this star whale is undoubtedly very qualified. After completing the performance test of the runaway tool beast, Ren, who was anxious about the magical disaster crisis, suddenly calmed down. Oh, right. After Florina gave birth, it seems like the system has sounded more than one notification. Ren suddenly remembered. Previously, his attention was drawn to the rewards given by the system. That's why he overlooked it. Thinking of this, Ren immediately opened the system to check, with a thought. The previously ignored system information automatically appeared. Congratulations to the host for reaching a hundred offspring, meeting the requirements for family size, the system is upgrading. Upgrade successful. New system functions unlocked. Attribute panel, family store. Congratulations to the host for completing the first system upgrade, reward. Upgrade gift pack asterisk 1. What the f asterisk ck? After reading all the system information, Ren was also shocked. He never expected that when the number of offspring reached 100, the system would undergo such a huge change. Directly upgrading. Opening two new functional modules in succession. Among them was the family store he had wanted before. Without rushing to explore the family store, Ren first opened his own attribute panel. He was also curious about his own situation. Host, Ren. Remaining lifespan. 1595 years, 1068 years, cultivation realm, 15th stage of battle chi, 12th stage of magic. Occupation. Arcane knight, battle chi aptitude, high. Magic aptitude, high. Open black lens bracket bloodline, incomplete golden dragon bloodline, bloodline concentration too low, unable to be inherited, close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket world blessing, 12 trials, law of cause and effect. Attacks always hit close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket talents. Berserk fury, resilient spirit, extraordinary healing, advanced material free spellcasting, instant spellcasting, golden scale armor, super reproduction, golden dragon eyes, dual body fusion, twin angel companions close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket combat skills. Holy flame sword cannon, 7 star level, holy sword judgment, 7 star level, void charge, 6 star level, gale sword technique. 5 star level. Open black lens bracket affiliated forces, Habs Knights, Shadow Organization, Sea Shark Tribe, Death Knights close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket number of wives, 20 close black lens bracket open black lens bracket number of offspring, 100 close black lens bracket. I have to say, the attributes displayed by the system are very detailed. Especially the bloodline column, it finally solves a hidden doubt in his heart. That is why he cannot pass down the Golden Dragon bloodline to his offspring. So that's it, it turns out that the bloodline concentration is too low. A hint of regret appeared on Ren's face, if he could inherit the Golden Dragon bloodline to his offspring. The talents of his descendants would definitely have a significant improvement. By then, he would also be able to obtain more and better rewards from the system. After reading the attribute panel, 
Ren shifted his gaze to the bottom of the system panel. There was an icon similar to a shop. On it were the four words, Family Store. Clicking in. Ren saw a dazzling array of products in front of him. Open black lens bracket divine position of time close black lens bracket open black lens bracket introduction close black lens bracket contains complete comprehension of the laws of time, after integrating it into one's own divine nature, one can become an ancient god who controls the laws of time. Open black lens bracket close black lens bracket 10,000 Oh 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 open black lens bracket divine position of space close black lens bracket open black lens bracket introduction close black lens bracket contains complete comprehension of the laws of space after integrating it into one's own divine nature one can become an ancient god who controls the laws of space open black lens bracket close black lens bracket 10 billion chapter 113 family blessing nine ring magic scroll resurrection damn ren was shocked when he saw the two items displayed at the top of the family store Wow. This family store actually sells divine positions related to time and space. It's incredible. You see, divine positions represent the authority of gods and the laws of the world. Different divine positions have different powers. And divine positions like time and space, which are formed by the fundamental laws of the world, naturally occupy the top of the divine positions hierarchy. They can't be compared to ordinary divine positions like forests and earth. As long as one can digest and absorb these divine positions, even the weakest and faintest divine power can immediately become the god above many gods. It can be imagined how precious the divine positions of time and space are. If they really appeared in this universe, the high and mighty gods would probably fight over these divine positions to the point of losing their minds. Note. The hierarchy of gods is divided into weak divine power, low-level divine power, medium-level divine power, strong divine power, great divine power, also known as the god above gods, ancient gods, and creator gods. Unfortunately, I am not even a god, let alone qualified to absorb and merge divine positions. Even if I can afford it, I can't use it. After calming down, Ren sighed with regret. However, as a man with a golden finger, he believed that becoming a god was only a matter of time. He prepared the funds to purchase divine positions related to time and space in advance. When he becomes a god, he will then absorb and merge the divine positions. A smooth takeoff. Isn't that just perfect? Thinking of this. Ren immediately asked the system what currency the family store uses. How can it be obtained? Ding! The currency unit of the family store is cultivation. One year of cultivation is equivalent to one unit of currency. At the same time, the host can also exchange unwanted treasures or anything with special abilities for currency. Sorry for the interruption. Upon hearing this, Ren was completely speechless. This currency unit is really outrageous. According to the currency unit provided by the system, the price of the time divine position and the space divine position is equivalent to 100 billion years of cultivation. 100 billion years of cultivation. To guarantee the birth of a golden level offspring, 100 years of cultivation can be obtained. In other words, I need to give birth to 100 million golden level offspring in order to have enough currency to buy the time divine position. Thinking of this, Ren immediately gave up the idea of purchasing this world's origin level divine position. Damn it. He has worked hard until now and has only given birth to seven golden level offspring. 100 million? When will he have to keep giving birth? It's not even certain if he can accomplish it by the end of the universe. The delusion of reaching the sky in one step is gone. Ren carefully explored the family store. He also specifically looked at the high quality talent potions and other similar products that he wanted to purchase before. It has to be said, compared to the high end goods like the time divine position. The price of high-quality talent potions is quite affordable. One potion only requires 300 years of cultivation. Unfortunately, as a poor guy with almost no money, he still can't afford it. There's hardly any money in his pocket. Ren was too lazy to continue shopping at the family mall. Instead, he shifted his attention to the upgrade gift package given by the system. Why buy anything when you can get it for free? With this thought in mind, Ren made a move and opened the gift package. Gift package opened. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 5 high-grade cultivation aptitude potions, 5 advanced potential recovery potions, family blessing, accelerated cultivation, and a 9th ring divine scroll, resurrection technique. The rewards from this upgrade gift package were extremely generous. Both in terms of quantity and quality, they were more than 5 times better than the previous system gift package. Ren had long been aware of the effects of the first two potions. No need to say more, he shifted his gaze to the last two rewards. Family Blessing, Accelerated Cultivation, Effect, 
all members of the Habu's family will receive a special blessing, increasing their cultivation speed by 20%. Ninth Ring Divine Scroll, Resurrection Technique. Effect. After use, it can resurrect a deceased person whose body is not more than 80% damaged and has been dead for no more than 3 days. Note. This divine technique cannot be used on those who died of natural causes. These two rewards were of extremely high value. The family bloodline blessing was equivalent to a permanent group cultivation speed buff for the members of the Habu's family. In the long run, the Habu's family would definitely produce more and more strong individuals. As for the ninth ring divine scroll, there was no need to say more. This was a resurrection technique. If a loved one around him unexpectedly died, this scroll could provide an opportunity to bring them back. Of course, if possible, Ren hoped that he would never have to use this resurrection scroll. He didn't want anything unfortunate to happen to his wife and children. Overall, he was very satisfied with the rewards from the upgrade gift package. Claim all. Ren silently murmured in his heart. The next second. Ten bottles of magic potions emitting a mysterious glow appeared in front of him. At the same time, a golden scroll also appeared. As for the blessing of the family bloodline, it automatically took effect the moment it was received. At this moment, Janice and the others who were practicing in the meditation room felt that their cultivation speed inexplicably increased. They were startled, thinking that there might be something wrong with their bodies. However, no matter how they checked themselves, they couldn't find any problems. Such a strange thing made them uneasy, under doubt and panic. Janice and the others came to find Ren to explain this matter. Hoping to find a solution, hearing the wives' account, Ren was somewhat speechless and quickly explained. Don't worry. I used a special magic to bless our Habs family members, which can increase their cultivation speed by 20%. It's not some strange curse. That's good. Hearing her husband's words, Janice and the others immediately felt relieved. After calming down their wives' emotions, Ren took out the five bottles of magic potions and said to the women, These are high aptitude potions. After taking them, you can obtain high magic aptitude and high combat aptitude. But for now, there are only five bottles, one of them I will give to Hilda to help her break through the realm of the Earth Knight. The remaining four bottles, you can divide among yourselves. It's okay if you don't get one, in the future, I can get more of these potions, and no one will be left behind. Chapter 114 Promoted to Magister, Million Demon Army Attacks Advanced Qualification Potion Upon hearing this, Layla, Murphy, Jessica, Katie, Charlene, and Emic all showed expressions of surprise and longing on their faces. Among the many wives in Ren, they were the only ones who had not yet obtained an advanced or higher level of cultivation qualification. However, six people were needed, but there were only four bottles of the advanced qualification potion. Clearly, this was not enough to distribute. In order to preserve their sisterhood, the six women decided to use a lottery to determine the allocation. After a series of commotion, the final result came out. Emic and Jessica were relatively unlucky. They did not draw the red ticket that represented the qualification for distribution. In this situation, naturally, Layla, Murphy, Yuanlin, and Katie obtained the four bottles of the Advanced Qualification Potion. After obtaining the Advanced Qualification Potion, Layla and the other three women immediately went to the meditation room to prepare to take the potion. They wanted to transform their qualifications. As for Ren, he took the last bottle of the Advanced Qualification Potion and headed towards the family training ground. He knew that Hilda was probably there, as expected. Just as he arrived at the family training ground, Ren saw Hilda wielding a giant sword, sweating profusely as she trained her combat skills. Although the Lion Corps was no more, and the Kingdom of Lance had fallen, Hilda, who had always wanted to become a female general, still had no intention of slacking off. She trained herself tirelessly every day, rain or shine. She hoped to seize the opportunity to break through as an Earth Knight. After completing her daily training, Hilda also noticed Ren next to the training ground. Father, why are you here? You wanted to break through as an Earth Knight, right? I brought you something good. Ren didn't beat around the bush and directly handed the bottle of advanced qualification potion to Hilda. Explained its medicinal effects briefly. Thank you, father, I won't let you down. Upon hearing that her father had brought her such a precious potion, Hilda became extremely excited. She immediately gave Ren a big hug. There's no need to say what happened next. Hilda couldn't wait to drink the high level qualification potion in her hand. Under the effect of the potion, Hilda's physical and mental qualifications were rapidly improving. A few minutes later, the effects of the potion were fully absorbed. Hilda only felt light all over her body, with an unprecedented sense of ease. And then, Ren taught Hilda all the key points and tricks to break through as an Earth Knight. Qualifications transformed, 
and received guidance from her old father. Hilda gained a lot. She became more confident in breaking through as an earth knight. Immediately, she began a more rigorous training for herself. Wanting to complete the breakthrough as soon as possible. Soon, the Habsburg family will have a new earth knight born. Watching this scene, Ren thought with satisfaction. After Hilda completes the breakthrough, he plans to hand over the family knight order to Hilda. In this way, not only can the strength of the family knight order be greatly improved, but also Hilda's desire to become a female general can be fulfilled. Killing two birds with one stone, in the blink of an eye. Half a month has passed. Following Freya, Katie, Leifa, Betty, and Lilesia also successfully gave birth. Giving birth to Ren offspring. The Habsburg family has four new babies. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the host's 101st child. The magical aptitude of this offspring is average, the fighting spirit aptitude is high, and the evaluation is silver level. Reward, 30 years of fighting spirit cultivation, 10 years of history. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the host's 102nd child. The magical aptitude of this offspring is average, the fighting spirit aptitude is average, and the evaluation is bronze level. Reward, 10 years of fighting spirit cultivation. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the host's 103rd child. The magical aptitude of this offspring is high, the fighting spirit aptitude is high, and the evaluation is silver level. Reward, 30 years of fighting spirit cultivation, basic mastery of forging. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket detected the birth of the host's 104th child. The magical aptitude of this offspring is high, the fighting spirit aptitude is low, and the evaluation is silver level. Reward. 30 years of fighting spirit cultivation, 10 years of magical cultivation. Close black lens bracket. Four children. Three silver level evaluations, one bronze level evaluation. The quality can be considered quite high. The system rewards are also not bad. A total of 100 years of fighting spirit cultivation, 20 years of magical cultivation, plus a basic mastery of forging. No rush to claim the rewards. Ren silently thought in his heart, can the system exchange fighting spirit cultivation for magical cultivation? The current situation outside is severe, he needs to increase his combat power. This 100 years of fighting spirit cultivation cannot allow his fighting spirit realm to break through to the legendary domain. But if exchanged for magical cultivation, it can greatly increase the probability of his magical realm advancing. Breakthrough to the realm of a mage. Open black lens bracket yes. May I ask if you want to proceed with the conversion? Close black lens bracket. Convert. Ren spoke without hesitation, the next second. The 100 years of fighting spirit cultivation were converted into 100 years of magical cultivation. In addition to the original 20 years of magical cultivation, a total of 120 years of magical cultivation, it was integrated into his body. Ren immediately felt the surge in magical power. Taking the opportunity to activate the elemental star meditation method, guiding this immense magical power, it began to converge towards the center of his spiritual sea integration, compression, refinement. After dozens of repetitions, the first star, composed of solidified magical crystallization, was born. Immediately after, the second, third, fourth. After several hours, Ren realized that the magical source in his consciousness had completely transformed into a higher intensity magical energy. 168 magical stars hung high in the sky above Ren consciousness. Shining brightly, until the moment when the last trace of the magical source completed its transformation. A buzzing sound, only existing in the soul, rang out. Powerful magical energy began to refine Ren's soul and body. The space of his consciousness expanded rapidly. The strength of his soul continued to increase, three hours later. At this moment, Ren had completed his promotion and transformation, and his aura had increased by more than several times. Thirteenth rank, the promotion of a mage was successful. The total amount of magic has increased 20-fold, and lifespan has increased by about a hundred years. Of course, this is not the biggest change, similar to the flight ability of a Sky Knight. Mages also have a unique ability, dual casting. It's like evolving from single-threaded to dual-threaded. This ability allows mages to simultaneously cast two spells, increasing the power of the spells exponentially, completely overwhelming magicians who have not reached the level of a mage. And after reaching the level of a mage, they can also use more powerful and mysterious six-ring arcane arts. This greatly enhances Ren combat power, however. The joy of promotion did not last long, tonight, Ren received bad news. A large number of demons are moving towards the Habsburg region. The number is as high as millions, 
Chapter 115 Ride alone and start the unparalleled mode of mowing grass. This is a big problem now. When Ren received the news from the investigation of this secret organization, his expression also became quite ugly. With such a large-scale demon army, there must be a legendary demon commanding and controlling it. And it is very likely that there is more than one. If not handled properly, the entire Habsburg territory may be destroyed. Thinking of this, Ren didn't dare to waste any time. Immediately ordered all the cities in the territory to enter a level 1 alert state, to counter the upcoming attack of the demon army. At the same time, he initiated an emergency mobilization order. Summoning all the members of the Habsburg family's knight order. Preparing to go to support Harvest City. Based on the direction of the demon army's march as reported by the secret organization, Harvest City will be the front line to first come into contact with the demon army. If it can be defended there, it will definitely minimize the damage caused by the demon army's attack on the Habsburg territory. Summoning the Archangel of Holy Light to take his place in Eagle City. Under the worried gaze of his wives, Ren rode his Holy Light warhorse, leading more than 800 extraordinary knights, heading towards Harvest City. Harvest City is not far from Eagle City, only 75 kilometers. Fifteen minutes later, Ren and his group successfully arrived at Harvest City. The Lord of Harvest City is Ren's 25th son, Blake and Habsburg. Possessing a high-level fighting spirit aptitude, nurtured by Ren since childhood, 25-year-old Blaken is now a sixth-rank knight. Upon learning that his father had come, Blaken immediately led his men to welcome him. However, Ren had no intention of entering the city, temporarily handing over the command of the Habsburg Knight Order to Blaken. Strengthening the defense of Harvest City, afterwards, Ren flew alone towards the direction of the demon army. He planned to first investigate the situation of that demon army, and see if he can lure them away. After all, engaging in this great battle would be of no benefit to him at all. If he wins, it's just defending the territory, if he loses, the territory will be destroyed. In this situation, it is naturally better to avoid this great battle if possible. Riding his holy light warhorse, flying at high speed for more than 20 minutes. Soon, Ren discovered that massive demon army. In front of him, countless demons were moving towards him on the plain. A dark mass, as far as the eye can see, hiss. Seeing such a large army of demons for the first time, Ren couldn't help but instinctively take a breath. His eyes were full of shock, we absolutely cannot let these demons enter our territory. Otherwise, it will definitely be a huge disaster. Coming back to his senses, Ren's eyes were filled with seriousness. Riding on a holy light pegasus, he approached, just as Ren was about to take action and lure the demon army. These demons also noticed Ren in the sky, their eyes immediately showed a bloodthirsty light. Someone has come to us, like sharks smelling blood. Hundreds and thousands of fierce flying demons rushed towards Ren from all directions. Wanting to devour Ren, holy flame incineration. Seeing this scene, Ren calmly drew his great sword from his waist and swung it horizontally. The next second, a golden sword aura, like a ring of fire, rapidly spread out from Ren as the center. In the blink of an eye, it covered the sky within a radius of ten miles. Wherever it passed, demons wailed, in an instant. Thousands of flying demons turned into ashes, but it's not over yet. Without hesitation, Ren raised his sword again. Holy Flame Sword Cannon, Divine Flame Storm. A two-kilometer diameter golden flame storm condensed and formed with a loud roar. Sweeping towards the demon army below. Ah ah ah. Ah ah. Asterisk 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 in the face of this unparalleled powerful divine martial skill. Whether it was the lowest level timid demons or the more advanced great demons and soul judgment demons, they were as fragile as ants. In an instant, tens of thousands of demons were ignited by the holy fire, turning into blazing torches. Hearing the miserable wailing of their companions, the other demons that were not attacked quickly moved away, afraid of being touched by the holy fire. Seeing the significant results of his attack, Ren naturally did not stop. He charged into the demon army alone. Activate the unparalleled grass cutting mode. The large sword in hand dances wildly. Sword chi, burning with golden flames, whistles and flies out. Attacking the surrounding demon army. Beep, beep, sizzle. In an instant, blood and flesh fly. These holy fire sword chi, with an overwhelming force, completely slay the demons in their path. That human is a monster. Seeing this scene, even the dim-witted demons understand that this human before them is incredibly powerful. They are simply no match for him. To charge forward is to die. In an instant, the evil and greedy look in their eyes turns into fear. Driven by their survival instincts, 
those demons frantically flee in the direction away from Ren. One tells ten, ten tells a hundred. The demon army is immediately thrown into chaos. Seeing this, Ren reveals a hint of joy on his face. He immediately prepares to take advantage of the situation and completely crush and scatter this demon army. However, just at this moment, a furious roar, filled with intense killing intent, comes from behind the demon army. You lowly human, dare to act recklessly in front of the great dialogue. Die. As the voice falls, a dark red demon, with huge horns and a body reaching 8 meters in height, suddenly appears behind Ren. Wielding a massive battle axe burning with hellish lava, it strikes down towards Ren. The momentum is such that it seems to split Ren and his horse in half. Faced with this sudden and fierce attack, Ren reaction is also extremely quick. Flowers please. He immediately uses the defensive magic provided by the silver frost armor and his strongest defensive talent. Eternal frost shield. Golden scale armor. The next second. A shield made of deep cold ice appears out of thin air behind Ren. Although it couldn't completely block the astonishingly powerful axe attack. It successfully reduces the power of the dark red demon strike by more than half. The remaining attack power is completely unable to pose any threat to the golden dragon scales covering Ren body. After blocking the enemy's sneak attack, Ren quickly launches a counterattack. Activating the holy dragon fighting Chi, infusing it into the storm greatsword in his hand. Immediately, it was a move called, looking back at the moon, looking back and digging. The storm greatsword burning with holy fire instantly pierced the chest of the dark red demon. Roar. Unexpectedly, my surefire strike missed. I never expected this human's counterattack to come so quickly. Caught off guard by this blow. Zero Darag instantly let out a painful roar. The aura around him instantly weakened significantly. Obviously, he was injured by Ren Strike, of course. It is obviously impossible to eliminate a legendary abyss demon with this strike. Damn human. I will throw your soul into the fires of hell and burn it for 10,000 years. Using a large amount of chaotic evil power to counteract the continuous corrosive burning of the holy fire on his chest. Darag, who suffered a wave of losses, looked at Ren with even more intense killing intent in his eyes. How unoriginal. Is this the only thing you demons say when threatening people? A certain abyss lord projection said this to me before, but unfortunately, it didn't come true and was beaten to death. I wonder how long you can last in my hands. Ren showed a disdainful expression and deliberately provoked. You despicable human, I will definitely kill you today. Seeing Ren being so arrogant, Durag became even angrier. The anger in his eyes was almost tangible, however. It also doubted what Ren said. Could this human really have killed the demon lord projection? To be safe, Durag ultimately chose to lead the demon army to launch an attack on Ren. Faced with the command of a high-ranking demon, the other low-level demons dared not disobey. They immediately stopped their escape and turned to attack Ren. Step 1 of the baiting plan, successfully drawing hate. Seeing this scene, Ren felt triumphant, immediately. He put on a look of being outnumbered, and ran wildly in the opposite direction of Habas's territory. While the enraged Durag naturally led the demon army in hot pursuit. Tens of thousands of demons crazily chasing after one person. The scene was quite spectacular. However, just when Ren thought his plan was successful and he had successfully stopped the demon army from attacking the territory. Another legendary demon appeared, it was a Balro flame demon. Chapter 106 Infighting among the legendary demons, an army of millions of demons is approaching the city. I saw the legendary Baloyan demon flash in front of the escape route to Ren. With a ferocious smile on its face, it raised both hands above its head. Die, insects. The next second, a supergiant fireball with a diameter of one kilometer condensed from its hands. Smashing towards Ren. Falling like a meteor. Holy fire breaking evil slash. Feeling the power contained in this fireball, Ren did not dare to be negligent. Activating all his energy, he drew his sword to counterattack. A sacred flame sword energy, hundreds of meters long, formed with a loud roar. A few seconds later, the sword energy collided with the fireball. Boom. A loud explosion sounded. After a brief stalemate, the two attacks clashed and exploded, disappearing into nothingness. This strike was evenly matched, however, 103. The Beloyan demon was hindered by this. Ren's running speed clearly slowed down. He was about to be caught up by the demon army led by Dialogue. Once surrounded, Ren would face two legendary demons and the siege of millions of demon soldiers at the same time. By then, even if his combat power was strong, he would be worn down and die in despair. Realizing this, Ren decisively chose to run away. Uninjured and furious, 
Holy breaking evil slash. Activate the strongest state. Ren raised the great sword in his hand and crazily slashed out waves of sacred sword energy around him. In the face of such a violent attack, for a moment, the abyss demon and the Balrog were somewhat flustered. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Ren quickly used the death charge skill to bless the holy light Pegasus and run away. By the time the two legendary demons regained their senses, Ren had already run several kilometers away, and he was still moving away at an extremely fast speed. Sly human, don't run, the great Daroge will definitely tear you to pieces. Seeing this scene, the abyss demon who had been completely played by Ren throughout let out a roar of unwillingness. He still wanted to continue chasing Ren with his subordinates. However, the next second, you brainless fool, don't forget our purpose. To chase after a human, are you willing to give up harvesting the souls of millions of humans? Have you been eaten by the abyss worms? The great Ragnaros doesn't have time to waste with an idiot like you. As long as he harvested millions of human souls and flesh, his power would further advance. Becoming an abyss lord, this brainless guy wanted to ruin his good fortune? No need to say more, he must use his fists to wake him up. After saying that, Ragnaros raised his fist and punched the abyss demon twice. You. Caught off guard by his companion's two powerful punches, Daroj felt greatly insulted. The anger he originally had towards Ren instantly shifted to the Balrog. Immediately, he raised his battle axe and swung it towards Ragnaros. You damn fool. Seeing this waste who had recently entered the legendary realm dare to fight him, Ragnaros was also very annoyed. Without hesitation, he retaliated. He wanted to let this guy know who the real boss was. Like this. The Abyss Demon and the Balro Flame Demon started fighting directly. I don't know about the internal conflict and fierce battle between the two legendary demons. Seeing that the demon army did not continue to chase after him. Ren, who was running away, also realized that his lure plan had completely failed. A big battle is inevitable. Immediately changing direction, flying towards the direction of Harvest City. More than 10 minutes later, Ren returned to Harvest City. At this time, Harvest City has already prepared for war. All the combat personnel are waiting on the city walls in a strict formation. Fifteen crystal cannons are arranged in different locations. Ensuring the ability to form a dense firepower network in front. To maximize the damage to the invading enemy. Well done. Seeing this scene, Ren praised his son, Bracken. It is quite impressive for the first defensive formation to achieve this level. It's all thanks to your good teachings, father. Receiving praise, Bracken is also very happy, but not overly complacent. In fact, it is true. If it weren't for his father teaching him a lot of knowledge about war since he was young, he would not have been able to understand the well-organized defensive line. Upon hearing this, Ren smiled, his face full of satisfaction. As an old father, seeing his son become so outstanding under his education, he is also very proud. In the casual conversation between father and son, time flies by quickly. About half an hour later, that large-scale demon army appeared at the end of the plain in front and it is approaching Harvest City at a considerable speed. They're here. Standing on the city wall, Ren's eyes were filled with solemnity. He was well aware that a fierce battle was about to begin. No nonsense. Ren directly ordered all the magic crystal cannons to start charging. Aiming at the approaching demon army in the distance. 100 kilometers, 90 kilometers, 80 kilometers. Fire. When the demon army reached a distance of 10 kilometers from the city of Fenzhou, Ren did not hesitate to give the attack order. As soon as the words fell, boom, 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 more than ten blue beams carrying the aura of explosion shot out from the barrels of the magic crystal cannons. They quickly blasted towards the distant demon army. Each beam was equivalent to a full force strike from a thirteenth level transcendent. It was something that the low level demons couldn't withstand at all. After one round of attacks, the demons at the forefront instantly lost more than half of their numbers. However, Compared to the demon army with a number reaching millions, this amount of casualties was clearly insignificant. It was like a scratch. After being hit by the long-range attacks of the magic crystal cannons, the demon army did not stop its advance. Instead, it accelerated its march. They wanted to reach the city as soon as possible to avoid being passively attacked. More than ten magic crystal cannons continued to bombard without interruption. By the time the demon army crossed a distance of ten li and arrived at the foot of the city of Fenzhou. The casualties had already exceeded 100,000. They didn't care about the deaths of their comrades. These demons immediately began to attack the city. Countless demons surged up the city walls like a tide. They fought fiercely with the soldiers and members of the Night Order responsible for defending the city. 
This war had entered a state of intense heat from the very beginning. Chapter 107 Harvest City Fell. The Barlow Balrog who suffered a backstab. Take down these demons. Kill, kill, kill. Various shouts of killing echoed from the top of the Harvest City Wall. Due to the protection of the city's defensive formation, there was a layer of anti-flight barrier outside the city wall. The demon army was unable to fly and directly enter the city for an attack. And the city wall was also reinforced with magic, making it difficult to destroy. Tens of thousands of demons could only climb the city wall. Attempting to overcome this barrier, but the soldiers responsible for guarding the city wall and members of the Habsburg Knight Order were already waiting on the wall. Once they spotted demons climbing up the wall, they immediately launched an attack while the demons were still unstable. Due to the pre-allocated defense zones, the coordination between the defending soldiers was quite tacit, not missing any demons. More than 10 minutes passed. Not a single demon was able to truly step onto the Harvest City Wall. Realizing the difficulty of dealing with Harvest City, this demon army no longer only used low-level demons for probing attacks. More powerful mid- to high-level demons also joined the battle. In this situation, the defensive pressure on Harvest City immediately increased dramatically. The originally impregnable defense line gradually tore apart. If this continued, more and more demons would firmly establish themselves on the city wall. When the demon army occupied the city wall, Harvest City would be completely finished. After all, whether in terms of quantity or quality, the demon army far surpassed the city's defenders. Losing the advantage of terrain, it was only a matter of time before Harvest City was breached by the demon army. Archers, focus all firepower on killing the high-level demons climbing the wall. The magic crystal cannons, abandon cooldown, increase firing speed, fully suppress the demon army around the city wall, disrupt their attack rhythm. Thinking of this, Ren eyes flashed with determination and decisively gave the order. Receiving the command, nearly a thousand soldiers wielding wind chaser crossbows took action. Arrows imbued with sharp elemental wind energy shot out. Directly turning those mid to high level demons climbing the wall into hedgehogs. With the addition of this fresh force, the originally gradually torn city wall defense line instantly stabilized. At the same time, those more than ten magic crystal cannons that were cooling their barrels once again showed their might. They spared no expense in consuming magic crystals. They began to crazily fire light cannons, in less than five minutes. All the demons within a two kilometer radius of the city walls were completely wiped out. The pace of the attack was interrupted. The demons attacking the city walls and the demon army in the rear completely lost contact. They lost their support. Soon, these demons were all annihilated by the defending soldiers. They suffered a big loss. The number of the demon army decreased to less than 600,000. However, as the defending side, Fangxiao City did not have it easy. Although they relied on the terrain, as well as various tactics and equipment support, the loss of combat personnel was relatively small. But in the just now high load firing of the magic crystal cannons, five of them exploded. The remaining ten cannons also needed to cool down urgently. Otherwise, they could explode and become scrap at any time. In other words, after this wave of maximum output, the firepower support from the magic crystal cannons could not be relied upon for the time being. Calculating the losses from repelling the first wave of demon army attacks. The joy on Ren face disappeared instantly. Without the powerful firepower support provided by the magic crystal cannons. Fangxiao city had to withstand the remaining demon army. Nearly 600,000 demons attacking together, anyone could bury all the defending troops of Fangxiao city. Realizing the seriousness of the problem, Ren immediately began to consider a way to break the deadlock. Thinking and thinking, he realized that there seemed to be only one way to save Fangxiao city. That is to implement the decapitation strategy, kill those two legendary demons. Without these two legendary demons leading them, the demon army would not be able to form a united force. By then, he alone could completely crush the remaining demon army. However, achieving this point was obviously very difficult. Fighting against two legendary demons at the same time. Even if he used the strength brought by the twelve trials of death, he did not have a hundred percent certainty of winning. Not to mention, these two legendary demons still had so many minions. Rushing into the demon army of hundreds of thousands. Taking the heads of the two legendary demons, unless he is a semi-divine powerhouse, he wouldn't dare to be so arrogant. I can only take it step by step, can't think of any good solutions. Ren regained his focus and turned his attention back to the ongoing war. Ten minutes later, the demon army regrouped, they continued to launch a fierce attack towards Harvest City. Thousands of advanced demons led a large group of low-level demons, charging towards the city walls once again. However, 
This time, there was no firepower support from the magic crystal cannons. The soldiers and knights on the city wall had to deal with the constantly charging demons on their own. The defensive pressure increased by more than tenfold compared to before. For a while, the casualties of the Harvest City defenders skyrocketed. Noticing this, the demon army's offensive became even more fierce. It seemed like they wanted to take down Harvest City in one fell swoop. Holy Flame Sword Chi. Seeing this, Ren had no choice but to take action. Otherwise, Harvest City would really be lost. Sword Chi formed by Golden Flames swept across the city walls. With Ren joining the battle, the demon army, which had initially gained the upper hand, was defeated once again. One hour later, these useless fools, they can't even handle such a small matter. Seeing that the human city had not been breached yet, the two legendary demons commanding the demon army couldn't sit still. They personally took action, preparing to end this battle. Giant fireballs were thrown towards the city walls of Harvest City. Each one was equivalent to a sixth ring magic, facing such terrifying attacks. The defensive magic array of Harvest City didn't last for five seconds before being completely shattered. Without magic reinforcement, the city walls collapsed. The demon army advanced rapidly, they broke into Harvest City. In an instant, the situation took a turn for the worse. Upon seeing this, Ren knew that Harvest City was most likely doomed. But out of his sense of responsibility as the Lord, he decided to make one final attempt. To try and assassinate those two legendary demons. To turn the tide of the battle, when the two legendary demons entered Harvest City. Ren, hiding in the shadows, without hesitation activated his invincible frenzy, and then unleashed his ultimate move, Holy Sword Judgment. Expending all of his fighting spirit, six energy swords, each of which was equivalent to an epic level weapon, condensed out of thin air. Immediately, they transformed into streams of light, attacking the legendary Balro Flame Demon. The immobilizing effect of Holy Sword Judgment was triggered. However, this Balro Flame Demon, possessing high-level legendary strength, was clearly not to be trifled with. In a situation where his strength surpassed Ren by 623 realms, the Balro Flame Demon easily broke free from the immobilizing effect of Holy Sword Judgment. Immediately, Without hesitation, he used the six ring magic, lava armor to protect himself. The next second, an energy armor composed of dark red magma condensed and took shape, enveloping the entire body of the Balro flame demon. After the holy sword judgment pierced through the lava armor, its power immediately diminished. Although it successfully left six holes on the body of below flame demon, greatly weakening its aura. However, it failed to achieve Ren goal of killing below flame demon. It couldn't even inflict serious damage on Below Flame Demon. So, it was you, little bug, taking this blow. Ragnaros immediately locked onto the attacker's position. After discovering that the attacker was Ren, the human who had recently attacked the demon army, a sinister smile appeared on his face. He had felt a bit regretful about Ren escaping earlier. Unexpectedly, he had now come to him, you see. A human transcendent with strength comparable to a legendary being is a great supplement. If he could devour him, the evolutionary energy provided would be equivalent to that of millions of ordinary humans. Perhaps it could directly propel him to a higher level. This below flame demon wants to eat me. Feeling the greedy gaze from Ragnaros, Ren also felt a chill in his heart. He didn't want to experience the feeling of being bitten and swallowed alive by a demon. Just as Ren was preparing to commit suicide and resurrect to escape, a subordinate looking abyssal fiend, who was following behind below flame demon, suddenly launched a backstab. Viciously striking below flame demon's head. Chapter 118 Reaping the Benefits of the Fisherman, the Surrender of the Legendary Demon. At this moment, the attention of the fire demon Ragnaros, Lord of the Firelands, was completely focused on Ren, the great source of nourishment. There was absolutely no defense. The surprise attack from the abyssal demon was successful without any unexpected incidents. The giant battle axe, carrying the power of thunder, fiercely struck Ragnaros' head. Although Ragnaros was covered in defensive magic. But due to the need to withstand Ren ultimate move, the Holy Sword Judgment, the effect of this defensive magic had long been weakened to the extreme. Therefore, this surprise attack caused great damage to Ragnaros. His head was almost chopped off directly. Roar. His vital point suffered a heavy blow. Belor, the fire demon, let out an extremely painful roar. He immediately turned his head to find the attacker. He wanted to tear that guy into pieces, however. When he saw who attacked him, Ragnaro's gaze was filled with disbelief. Durag. This waste that he had recently subdued actually dared to betray him? Durag. What the hell do you want to do? 
Thinking of this, Balor couldn't help but angrily roar and question. At dollar g asterisk percent s carat his gaze at Durag was almost spewing fire. Ha ha ha. What do I want to do? You despicable worm who should be thrown into the river Styx, today I will kill you. In the face of Ragnaro's questioning, Durag let out a sinister laughter. This damn Balor actually dared to insult and beat him. Now he finally had the opportunity for revenge. Kill this guy. He is the only ruler of this demonic army. The harvested human souls and flesh, he can enjoy them alone. No need to watch this damn Balor feast on meat while he only gets some soup. Thinking like this. The killing intent in Durag's eyes towards Ragnaros became even stronger. Go and die obediently. As his words fell. Durag raised the giant axe in his hand and once again fiercely struck Balor, the fire demon Ragnaros. And Ragnaros was not willing to show weakness, he let out a roar of anger. In my hand, I condensed lava fireballs and threw them towards the abyssal demon Diloge. The two legendary demons instantly engaged in a fierce battle. Seeing such a dramatic turn of events, Ren, who was preparing to commit suicide and resurrect, was dumbfounded. Why did these two legendary demons suddenly start fighting? Could it be that there is some deep-seated grudge? No, that's not right. Demons, creatures of the chaotic evil faction, are extremely selfish and self-serving. How could there be any bullshit family ties? Even if there is a grudge over killing a father, it is absolutely impossible for one legendary demon to attack another more powerful legendary demon. It has to be said that chaos breeds clowns. No matter how hard Ren thinks, he can't figure out that the reason for the abyssal demon's betrayal of the below fire demon is just a result of the internal strife caused by him. For a while, he couldn't understand the reason. Ren also didn't waste too much time on this. This is a good opportunity. Looking at the two legendary demons fighting to the death not far away, a gleam of light flashed in Ren's eyes. Two legendary demons, and one with high-level legendary strength. If he were to face them head-on, even if he used the twelve trials, he might not be able to win. But now it's different. Under the ambush and betrayal of the abyssal demon, the below-fire demon with high-level legendary strength has been severely injured. His strength has greatly diminished. When the two legendary demons determine the winner and loser, there will definitely be one dead and one injured. At that time, he can easily get rid of these two legendary demons and reap the benefits. What a turn of events. Fangxiao City is saved. Thinking of this, Ren immediately dismissed the idea of running away. He continued to focus on the battle between the two legendary demons. He didn't make Ren wait long. After more than 20 minutes, the result of the battle came out. In the end, the abyssal demon emerged victorious. Although the below fire demon had stronger raw power. But after suffering a fatal blow to the head, his strength was greatly diminished. He couldn't withstand the attacks of the abyssal demon at all. After hundreds of rounds of confrontation, Baron Flame Demon's head was completely chopped off by the Abyss Evil Demon, G. Pai Khan. Of course, the victorious Abyss Evil Demon was not unscathed. His body was covered in deep wounds, with countless foul black blood flowing freely. It's because legendary demons have strong vitality. Otherwise, they would have been completely killed long ago. It can be said that this was a battle where both sides suffered. Ha ha ha. Stepping on the corpse of Baron Flame Demon. The victorious Abyss Evil Demon let out a gratifying and piercing laughter. Although he paid a painful price, in his eyes, everything was worth it. As long as he devoured Baron Flame Demon and that human with legendary level strength. Along with the millions of human souls harvested this time. He would definitely be able to break through to Demigod and become a Demon Lord. By then, he could attack and conquer several human kingdoms with his Demon Army. The promotion to Abyssal Demon God was also within reach. Dreaming of a perfect future. The abyss evil demon turned his malicious gaze towards Ren beside him. Baron Flame Demon was already dead. This human who had provoked him before couldn't be let go either. He must torture him severely before devouring him. As for whether he could defeat this human in his injured state. He wasn't worried at all. In his perception, the fighting spirit in this human's body had already been depleted. Without the support of fighting spirit, what could this human use to fight against him? And indeed, although Ren still had a lot of magic power unused, he had only recently advanced to a mage and hadn't had time to learn the sixth circle of magic. He could only use fifth circle magic, it was difficult to defeat a legendary demon with just that. Even if the legendary demon was in an injured state. However, Ren was not the least bit panicked. Eat shit. Feeling the gaze of the abyss demon, Ren calmly raised his middle finger at it. Immediately, he raised his sword and committed suicide. Damn human. Don't think that suicide can escape my control. Great dialogue. I will slowly chew and devour your soul. 
Hearing the insult implied in Ren's previous words, Dialogue became furious. Immediately, he prepared to use soul magic to capture Ren's soul. However, before he could make a move, Ren's body suddenly turned into smoke and dissipated. A few seconds later, he appeared unharmed before Dialogue. Not only did his fighting spirit and injuries completely recover, but even his aura had doubled compared to before. How is this possible? Seeing this scene, Dialogue's eyes were filled with disbelief. Resurrected from the dead, how could a mere human who hadn't even truly entered the legendary realm experience such a thing? This must be an illusion. Thinking this, Dialogue wore a sinister smile and immediately launched an attack on Ren. He wanted to capture this human who dared to play with him and torture him severely. You're seeking death. Seeing this, Ren remained calm and activated his talent of invincibility. Immediately, he raised his storm greatsword and slashed towards Dialogue. A holy sword energy far more powerful than before burst through the air. Holy light breaking evil slash. Ah. 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 Taking this blow head on, Dialogue instantly let out an extremely painful howl. Meanwhile, Ren, in order to quickly deal with this legendary demon, freed up his hand to deal with the demon army. He was also relentless in his attacks. Using his talent of duality, he summoned an identical clone of himself. The two of them attacked Dialogue together. Being heavily injured, Dialogue couldn't withstand such a strong assault. In less than two minutes, he was completely powerless to resist. Just as Ren was about to kill this abyss demon with one sword strike. Don't kill me. I am willing to submit to you. Chapter 119 Territory Crisis Resolved, Succubus Girl Surprised. Don't kill me. I am willing to submit to you. Feeling Ren murderous intent, the previously arrogant dialogue did not hesitate to beg for mercy. Having gone through countless battles to reach this point, he naturally did not want to die like this. And in order to preserve his life from the human in front of him, submission seemed to be the only way out. You are willing to submit to me. Upon hearing this, Ren was immediately intrigued. Then, he stopped his actions. After all, this abyssal demon possessed legendary level power. If he could subdue it, he would also gain a considerable amount of formidable combat strength. Seeing Ren stop, Dialogue also breathed a sigh of relief. A hint of cunning flashed in his eyes, and he quickly nodded, saying, Yes, I am willing to sign a master-servant contract with you and serve you as my master. No need to sign a master-servant contract. I want your demon's true name. Upon hearing this, Ren face revealed a smile that was not quite a smile as he spoke. He knew that this abyssal demon was not truly submitting. He didn't expect this guy to play tricks on him in this regard. You see, demons are chaotic creatures from the lower planes of the abyss. Normal magical contracts have very little binding power over them. As long as the demon pays a certain price, it can easily break free. But a demon's true name is different. It is the fundamental imprint given to the demon by the consciousness of the abyssal plane. Once you have the demon's true name, it is equivalent to having control over its life. A enslaved demon can never disobey the commands of the one who controls its true name. As a legendary demon, Dialogue naturally knew this. Impossible. Dialogue answered without hesitation. He had an expression that he would rather die than give up his demon's true name. Then you can go die. Ren shrugged and raised his sword once again. Without knowing the true name of this legendary demon, he dared not subdue it. After all, this guy has a criminal record. The previous boss, Beloyan, was backstabbed by this guy at a critical moment. In the end, he died a miserable death, he didn't want to repeat the same mistake. Although it's regrettable that he couldn't subdue this legendary demon. Ren still chose to swing his giant sword without hesitation. Wait. I'm willing to give up my true name. Seeing that Ren was really about to take action, Duroge, full of the will to survive, showed a fearful expression on his face and quickly spoke up. The great sword burning with holy fire finally stopped just under five centimeters away from Duraj's head. No coffin, no tears, it would have been better if it had been like this earlier, forcing me to take action. Hearing the words of this abyssal demon, Ren couldn't help but mutter to himself. Immediately, he sheathed his sword again. Although this abyssal demon was not honest and had many ulterior motives. But considering his legendary strength, Ren was willing to give him another chance. If he didn't hand over the demon's true name, then don't blame him for not being polite. Seemingly sensing the killing intent in Ren heart. This time, the abyssal demon didn't make any more tricks. He readily handed over his demon's true name. The demon's true name was very long. Like this abyssal demon, the demon's true name was over 6,300 characters long. It took Ren nearly 10 minutes to completely write it down. After confirming that there was no problem with this true name, Ren added his own loyalty magic to it. 
from today on. This abyssal demon would be his loyal dog. If it disobeyed Ren orders, its soul would be immediately wiped out. Feeling the absolute imprisonment from the true name. The abyssal demon looked as if it had lost all hope, lying motionless on the ground like a dead fish. Don't lie there. Hurry up and get to work. Kill all the demons you brought with you. After successfully subduing this legendary demon, Ren immediately issued his first command to it. Now the demon army is still rampaging inside Harvest City. If they are not cleared out quickly, the losses in Harvest City will continue to grow. As for letting the Abyssal Demon Lord command this demon army and turn it into a force under Habas's control, he didn't even consider it. Demons are chaotic creatures. Betrayal is the nature of demons. Even legendary demons can only temporarily subdue other demons through force. Over time, without any supporting benefits, these demons will definitely not obediently follow orders. In this situation, keeping this large-scale demon army captive is like placing a bomb in the territory that could explode at any time. It could easily plunge the territory into great turmoil. The returns are too small and the risks are too great. Yes. Receiving the master's command, Dialogue didn't dare to disobey. He quickly got up from the ground, and began to take action against the demon army under his command. Seemingly to show loyalty, and seemingly to vent his negative emotions of being controlled by others. Dialogue was very ruthless in his actions, he directly killed and devoured all the demons he encountered. And Ren was not idle either. Taking advantage of the power boost from resurrection, he began to madly slaughter the demons entering the city. Under the attacks of the two legendary level forces, the demon army was quickly defeated, 30 minutes later. Except for a few demons that escaped, hundreds of thousands of demons were all exterminated. This huge crisis that could have endangered the entire Habu's territory was resolved like this. The only thing that is a bit regrettable is, in this battle, Harvest City was mostly destroyed. Over 10,000 people were killed or injured. However, at such a cost, to overcome this enormous crisis that could lead to the destruction of the territory. Ren felt that it was still acceptable, after resolving the crisis. Ren had no intention of staying in Harvest City for long. Immediately, he set off on his way back with the Abyss Demon and the body of the Balrog Flame Demon. As for the post-crisis work in Harvest City, it could be left to his son, Bracken. As the Lord of Harvest City, it was his job. Lord Ren, I have a gift for you. On the way back to Eagle City, Dialogue suddenly said in a somewhat pleasing manner. A gift? Upon hearing this, Ren looked somewhat strange. Could this legendary abyss demon have some kind of serious illness? Shouldn't it hate him since he enslaved it? Why would it still prepare to give him a gift? Ren's thoughts were unknown. Dialogue's thoughts at this time were very simple. It's just to please Ren he has already accepted reality. Being enslaved is a done deal, it will be difficult for him to turn the tables in the future. In order to ensure that he is not casually used as cannon fodder or expendable, he naturally has to please his master. Without waiting for Ren to answer, Darog took out the gift from his personal space equipment. It was a palm-sized translucent blue crystal. Inside the crystal was a sleeping beautiful girl. This girl is obviously not human, or pure human. Although she has a delicate and fair face, a hot and graceful figure, and a huge and upright chest, it is hard to take your eyes off. But she has a pair of black horns on top of her head, and a small tail behind her drum. Her temperament is extremely enchanting, it gives people a special impulse at first sight. Who is this girl? After seeing clearly the so-called gift from Darog, Ren couldn't help but become interested and asked. This girl is a half-blood human with the bloodline of the succubus queen. Chapter 120 Daughter of the demon god? Marry a succubus girl. This mixed blood girl was found in a certain magic laboratory after I conquered a human territory. It seems that she underwent a special bloodline transplantation surgery performed by a human mage, acquiring the bloodline of the succubus queen, Mykanshut. Diloge explained. This enchanting demon girl with a rather special background. Originally, he intended to bring her back to the abyssal plane to establish a good relationship with the succubus queen or make deals with certain high-level demons. If it weren't for the sake of his future days under Ren command, he wouldn't have brought her out. I accept this gift. Upon hearing this, Ren's eyes also lit up as he spoke. You see, the succubus queen possesses the power of a lower ranked deity, and this mixed blood girl with the bloodline of the succubus queen. Roughly speaking, she can be considered a daughter of a demon god. If they were to have a child together, they might even give birth to a child with a platinum rating. Ren was extremely satisfied with Delage's gift. Feeling in a good mood, Ren handed over the legendary Belowflame demon corpse, which he had originally planned to use as advanced magical material, to Diloge for consumption. Anyway, it wouldn't be a loss. 
Diloge had already obtained the true name of this abyssal demon, enhancing his own strength and indirectly improving Ren's strength as well. Thank you, master. Unexpectedly, his attempt to please Ren resulted in such an unexpected gain. Delage's face also showed a look of surprise, afraid that Ren might change his mind. He immediately began to devour and absorb the energy essence within the below flame demon corpse. Meanwhile, Ren opened the blue crystal and released the succubus girl sealed inside. The method of opening it was also very simple. Just shatter the one-time sealing crystal. The crystal shattered. In the next second, the succubus girl, who appeared to be less than 10 centimeters tall, instantly returned to normal human size. Ren carefully examined her. It had to be said that the succubus girl with a normal physique looked even more enticing. It was as if she naturally exuded a charm effect. It was impossible to resist shifting one's gaze onto her. After more than 10 seconds, this enchanting girl with a seductive aura slowly opened her eyes. Her captivating fox-like eyes were filled with confusion. Who am I? The girl held her head and muttered to herself. Could it be amnesia? Seeing this, Ren immediately frowned. He used various magic spells to examine the girl's physical condition. After more than 10 minutes, the results came out. This girl indeed had amnesia. Apart from the muscle memory of speaking, she couldn't remember anything else. As for why this happened, it was probably a side effect of a special blood transfusion surgery. In other words, the mental state of this succubus girl was not much different from that of a newborn baby. And. It might be because she woke up and saw Ren as the first thing. The amnesiac succubus girl became very dependent on Ren. Instinctively, she held onto Ren's sleeve and wouldn't let go. It seems not bad like this, at least the process of cultivating feelings has become much simpler. Ren thought to himself. Afterward, he gave the amnesiac succubus girl a name, Iris. It meant the enchanting and sexy goddess. After more than ten minutes, Ren brought the succubus girl Iris back to the Habs Manor. As for the legendary abyss demon, because it was too ugly and terrifying, Ren didn't bring it back. He let it accompany the Death Knight Order instead. Upon learning that her husband had returned, Janice, Jessica, and others who had been worried about his safety came out to greet him. However, when they saw a strange girl with horns, a tail, a hot figure, and a seductive temperament intimately holding onto Ren, they were instantly confused. Darling, who is this? Janice couldn't help but ask about the origin of this strange girl. This is a mixed blood girl I accidentally saved with succubus bloodline. But her mind has some problems, she has amnesia, she can't remember anything now. I gave her a temporary name, Iris. Ren briefly introduced. Amnesia. Upon hearing this, Janice and the others looked at the succubus girl with sympathetic eyes. Immediately, they started chatting with the succubus girl and imparting various common knowledge to her. I hope to be able to help her recover her memory. And the succubus girl also seems to feel the enthusiasm and goodwill of Janice and the others. Although she doesn't speak, she listens very attentively. However, she never lets go of Ren hand. Wherever Ren goes, she goes. Like a super clingy spirit. Obviously, the loss of memory and the unfamiliarity with the world make her feel very insecure. Ren is her pillar of safety, the first person she saw. Regarding this. Ren is also very troubled. This is very inconvenient. What if he needs to go to the bathroom or engage in intimate activities with his wives? What should he do? Is he supposed to let this succubus girl watch the whole time? Imagine that strange and embarrassing scene. Ren feels a headache coming on. To avoid this situation, Ren starts trying to get a wrist to let go. Unfortunately, the end result is a failure. Once he forcibly separates a wrist hand, the succubus girl immediately starts crying, crying uncontrollably. She can't stop. Please give me flowers. Unless he lets a wrist grab onto him again, in this situation. Ren can only go along with it. Who asked him to want to marry this succubus girl? Just consider it as cultivating feelings. Night falls. The moon hangs high. Because of the succubus girl Aris, Ren can't do certain things with his wives. He can only sleep alone in the master bedroom, lying on the bed. Ren feels Aris constantly snuggling up to him. It seems like she wants to seek a sense of security through this close contact. Such intimate physical contact immediately ignites his desire. Unless he is a eunuch. Otherwise, which man can withstand this kind of test? This is what you asked for. Feeling the alluring and exquisite figure of the enchanting demon girl. Ren couldn't help but immediately launch a direct punch. Soon enough. Some strange sounds echoed in the room. Zero the next day. Seeing Iris limping and hobbling. Janice and the others couldn't help but understand what was going on. They all gave Ren a disdainful look. They demanded that Ren hold a wedding for Iris. 
to have her marry into the family as soon as possible. Regarding this, Ren naturally wouldn't object. After all, he had already devoured her completely. Naturally, he had to give Iris a status, one week later. Under the arrangements of Janice and the others, a grand wedding banquet was held at the Habs Manor. The protagonists of the wedding were naturally Ren and Iris. Iris, wearing a pure white wedding dress, looked both holy and enchanting. She was simply a combination of an angel and a devil. Even Ren, who had been honest with Iris many times, couldn't help but be dazzled. Although Iris had lost her memory, her brain was still very functional. During this week, Janice and the others took turns explaining common knowledge to Iris. Now, Iris was no longer as ignorant as before, she understood the meaning of the wedding. She knew that after getting married, she could be with Ren forever. Iris had been looking forward to this day. For this reason, she even consulted Janice and the others about the wedding process and rehearsed it several times herself. Her efforts were not in vain. The wedding went very smoothly. There was not a single mistake throughout the entire process. Under the blessings of the people of Eagle City, Ren and Iris officially became husband and wife. The wedding lasted for a day. After the banquet ended, Ren couldn't wait to pull Iris into the room. There was no way. Iris in her wedding dress was too irresistible. It was like she had a double attack speed buff. Even Ren, an experienced driver, who had been driving good cars for decades, couldn't resist this uniform temptation. 